Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to Monday Night Stream on the Grimoire. Uh, we got an, a nice group of 11 players playing on our first game tonight, so why don't you guys go ahead and say howdy everyone. Howdy. Howdy, howdy everyone. everyone. I'm not Hello. saying howdy, Steve. I had to do that for a year and a half. You know, howdy, it's, it's so that. ingrained into me, Richard, that that's why I said it, even though I would never say howdy <laughs> normally. It's just part of my, like built-in brain script now so sorry about that does mark look was like for Sidious right now like okay he's, he's corrected. <laughs> uh what? what's wrong <laughs> you just like your face was garbled and it was like oof. <laughs> it was like distorted a little bit uh we got you a very just think I'm, you just guys think i'm evil that's not true it's usually You're always true. my demon mark <laughs> Uh, we got a pretty fun script tonight. The script we're playing is called the Minotaur's Labyrinth. Um, you know, it's 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 made up of no. There's no custom roles or anything. It's all pretty much roles that you're probably familiar with if you've played Clock Tower. But the real interesting bit about this is it's run by two storytellers, and tonight it's going to be me, Evil Steve, and Mario Aqua will be taking the other storyteller seat for this game. Um, in oh, fact. God. Yeah, hello, Mario. And, and this playing the script was your idea. You reached out to me a little while ago and said, hey, I want to run the script. Are you interested in doing it? It looked fun, so I'm down for it. But uh, I'm going to, at least at this point, pass the, rain, the, the mic over to you, Mario, so you can tell us a little bit about some of the interesting interactions and exactly how this script works. Sure. Thanks, Steve. Uh, so welcome to the Minotaur's Labyrinth, everyone. This is a very unique script in that the only two sources of this information for the good team are either the cannibal, which is going to be relatively rare, and also the recluse, as uh, basically most of you already know, the main gimmick is that one of us storytellers is always going to be telling the truth, and one of us will always be lying when it comes to information. We will never lie to you about game state, what your role is, etc. The easiest way to think about this is that one of us is the vortex, and one of us is the anti-vortex, uh, without the whole restriction of losing the game if you don't nominate. In terms of certain interactions on the script that are a little bit more interesting, there is a custom jinx between the mathematician and the knaves. When the mathematician wakes, they will learn how many players received false information from the storyteller on top of their original information that they would normally receive, which most cases is not going to happen. But again, I mentioned the recluse and the cannibal specifically for this. Um, if they, again, if they choose the storyteller who cannot tell the truth, this number will be wrong. During the night phase, you um, can expect to essentially be presented first with um, the classic Minotaur's Labyrinth choice of choosing between a storyteller. You will be prompted to choose either me or Steve to receive your information from. You cannot choose both. If you are a role that chooses information uh, each night, then you can choose you can pick whichever you want each night. You don't have to pick the same one each night. However, obviously, if you are the investigator or the clockmaker, then you will only get that opportunity once. Um, speaking of the investigator, just to give a quick example of how this may work, say, for example, I am the storyteller that will always do tell the truth, and you are an investigator, and you come to me, I will give you normal investigator information. If you go to Steve, who will then hypothetically be the storyteller that always tells incorrect information, he can tell you whatever he wants except for the truth, which is just, again, normal investigative information. It can be, you know, a different minion on a different person or just two completely good characters. Again, this will um, make a little bit more sense as we go along. Uh, notable interactions are also the savant. You will either learn two true or two false statements. And another notable interaction would be the fisherman. Um, that is also subjective through our advice. So if you pick the team that, or if you pick the storyteller that is going to tell incorrect information, they will probably give you information that won't help your team. Um, besides that, do we have any questions from chat or from players? Richard? Uh, can we pick neither of you and message Courtney instead? Uh, no. Damn. What was the unique interaction with Recluse? Uh, Recluse just acts normally. So say you're like the fortune teller and you ping on the recluse, you might think that you're actually talking to the wrong storyteller, something along those lines. Are the minion and demon info, is that always true in the beginning of the game? All of that is true. Again, it's just information. It's the same thing as if it was a Vortox and anti Vortox game. Okay. Does this affect something like the Godfather's ability to learn which roles are in play, which outsiders are in play? 
No, from my understanding, the Vortex is... Oh, uh, I guess it would be Townsfolk. Uh, no, for this specific instance, I will say no. Cool. Any other questions? Why? Why not? <laughs> and when? Uh, tomorrow. Ha-cha-cha. Okay, well, now you know Mario's the liar. Actually, what, what day is it today, both of you? Uh, yesterday. It's not yesterday. There we go. Okay. Right. We're, we're going to go ahead and get started then. Yep. So uh, we're going to go uh, set up our game and choose the rules and, and send them out. You guys can hang out and chat and do all that fun stuff. And we'll be back as soon as we can. Hello. Well, Mario, um, it is that time to pick roles. But before that, right, we get to pick oh. who who is which storyteller. Oh, that is true. Um, I think, I mean, if you if you were to just, like, guess without meditating, it would definitely be I tell the truth and you tell false information because evil is true. True. Uh, so I guess but I like, I, would... I, I like reverse meditating them and doing the things they don't expect, which is the thing they most expect. So I'm... Exactly. I That's mean, what I was thinking. Okay. Okay, so you want to be the false... Yeah, I think I'm up for being the false storyteller, for sure. I'm just going to use the handy dandy new plague doctor feature, actually. So, the interesting thing I'm worried about is um, if we add that now, does when we send out rolls, will they see that? I don't know. I've never tested it. Take it out. <laughs> I guess because we've never uh, we've never successfully used the play docker properly. Have we? <laughs> if we if we assign it after we send out the rolls, we're in the clear. But let's not set it until we send out the rolls. Okay. Um, would you? Um, is it okay if I lead storytelling, or do you want to since you're streaming? Um, I don't really know how the streaming space works. Yeah, I think I'll take the lead on um, on the stuff just because I have the stream control, okay, and then um, there'll be. But we give them the option every time we say, "Please pick a storyteller," right? Oh, Is that I how you like, want to do it? Um, I didn't like during the day phase and stuff. If like you want to sure. talking, talking, I'll take that. I'll take that just because I have the chat and stuff, so I can do it a little easier. I guess I don't know how much it matters, but I will take the lead on that. Um, okay. um, now... I do have some characters in mind, though, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm interested in seeing what you have in mind. Um, so I'm going to assume we're playing two games today. The first, I love the Shab, so we're going to start with the Shab. Um, I have the same idea. Okay, and so I'm thinking Shab, Sarah Novus, and Scarlet Woman, just in case something goes wrong. Um, oh, I'm clicking the tokens, by the way, because I know you can't see it. So. That's fine. I'm marking it as you say it, just so stream can see it. Okay, cool. Um, I don't want Recluse because I actually want Recluse on the second game with the Clockmaker because I think that'll be really interesting. Um, so I was thinking Mutant. Uh, we already have Sarah Nova, so we could do Colots. Colots is fine. Uh, That's good. Um, I wanted to find you the next game, actually. I've never used the Politician before. I think it's a little hard to use from my understanding. It is, and it, it can leave a feel-bad taste in people's mouth when somebody is like, yeah. intentionally like screwing up the game but it, it's an interesting role it's the one i'm not entirely sure that why it fits on this script I, i'd be interested in figure in like learning why maybe but you know yeah. if i was to avoid one of these outsiders it'd probably be the politician okay i would agree so it's between mutant and klutz we already have sarah nova so i guess klutz klutz sounds good cool all right um i definitely want investigator the first time around. Um, Town Crier is actually really powerful. I talked to Jack about it. Um, so we'll keep that as a bluff and probably use it the second game. Okay. Um, and so I probably, I don't want Savant, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's really interesting the fact that like, if you're doing evil or if I'm doing evil, you're doing true, you can come up with two true statements every day, which, um, in some ways sounds easier to me than coming up with one true and one false, but it's still really hard to come up with like legit information that is, that is not like pointless or too powerful. It is a hard line to walk for sure. So if you're, yeah. if you're interested in avoiding it, especially for the first game, that's cool with me. Okay. That's fine. I put in monk and Raven keeper cause it's shab. Um, sure. and then probably fortune teller, um, math. 
Sure. Math is pretty cool with the special interaction on the script. Yeah. yeah. Let's try it just because it's fun. Um, and then Tom's already got some good information, so I was thinking seamstress, and then probably either fisherman or cannibal. But I'm just a little concerned about that cannibal interaction we're talking about. I think we talked it out enough that we're cool with it. Like essentially, if the cannibal is ever poisoned, then we don't have to tell the truth, right? That's kind of what it comes down to. It's, yeah. it's it's one of the only cases where that can happen. Um, but as long as yes. everyone understands that, it's fine. Like It makes sense to me. I don't think we should avoid it just because of that. Okay, let's put it in because we don't have the recluse. And I want the recluse in the next game because mm -hmm. that can get really messy. Um, so I have investigator, fortune teller, mathematician, monk, seamstress, raven keeper, cannibal, klutz. Serenovus, Scarlet Woman, Shab. Yep. Does that sound good? All right. That looks Go good. I'm just checking. Yeah. Is there anything think... interesting? So, oh. Town Crier, for sure, you mentioned that one for. Yeah. We, we could give Savant, but like then that means they have to come to us and. and uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, so we can even just leave that out. Um, Offmoger, Savant, and I, I hate putting Professor in with the Shab game as a bluff because I think that's just really lame. Uh, yeah. I think maybe Fisherman. Because just because there's not a lot of other options. Because uh, the other, yeah, you wouldn't want to come out as an outsider in a Fangu game anyway, so I'm not going to put an outsider as a bluff. So I think yeah. not having some pretty... Fisherman's a good one because evil can really mess with town info, bluff and yeah. fisherman. Okay. Sounds All right, good. so let's let's look at what we got real quick. So we ended up with Richard as the demon. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. He's been off for about about a month or so, and he gets the demon out of the gate. We got Kai, uh, first time on our stream night, uh, playing the Scarlet Woman. And then McKay, a veteran up there, and they'll be Sarah Novicing people. And I, I know McKay is one of those people that loves the madness effect, so they'll definitely enjoy that. Um, what what set up? It's like kind of interesting, right? It's like, what setup do we need to do? But like... Honestly, any setup we do goes out the window depending on which storyteller they pick, right? Oh, we should definitely put the red herring for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a red herring. We uh, should make it Ash. <laughs> if she never monk protects someone, that could look really suspicious. Yeah. Uh, but I don't. Know, I feel like I did that recently, so I might be. I might be doing it too frequently because it is funny. It is really funny. Yeah. Uh, it's weird, right? We're also dealing with like a red, a red herring is not as clear cut in this game because they might go to like the the lying storyteller and think their information is correct or not. So yeah. there's like some merit to putting it on, even like on a minion or something. You know, can it be? It's a good player only. It's a good uh, player only. There's a good player that registers as evil or as the demon. Okay. Um. Well, if we want to be really tricky about it. What's the first thing everyone does as a fortune teller? Checks your neighbors. True. Or we go even trickier and we make Tiffy her own red herring. Would she ever hit it though? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know if Tiffy's one of those players that eventually starts picking herself to narrow it down. Uh, but, I don't think she is. Okay. What, I mean, hitting it or not hitting it also in this game feels a little more random. Actually, so I'm yeah, up for no, 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 no. Let's do it. I think it's more likely she's going to do it because of this specific thing. We're going to we're gonna meta her. Yeah. And then <laughs> Investigator will do once right before he picks, probably. Exactly, because then we both got to figure out what we'll say. Yeah. Um, oh, you can now that you set out the roles, you can also uh, set sure. our tokens. Uh, what do I have? You, uh, there. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll figure something out. Uh, I'm going to put him to sleep then, right? Yeah, I think we are good to put him to sleep. Let's go uh, Go back to town, set him to sleep, and start the game. All right, everyone. We are back. Roll should be out. You guys should be able to see all the rolls. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yep. We weren't okay. being inappropriate at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Nope. Oh, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about either, but uh, you guys are all now trapped within the Minotaur's Labyrinth. 
I, I assume there's a demon, but the demon in this case will be the Minotaur. And if you want to escape, you better figure out where the exit is by finding that Minotaur. Good night, everyone. Okay, oh, so I gotta funny. get in the right. I gotta get right in the right mindset. I ha I I basically have to lie. I can't tell the truth. Yeah, you're evil, Steve. I'm evil, Steve. So I'm telling lies. Now let's take some predictions in chat. You can give us some predictions too. How many people do you think will come to me, and how many people do you think will go to you? Because they're gonna assume that I'm the lying one. Ooh, do you think we're gonna even split? Um, I'll oh, since you're mounting chat, I'll keep track of map numbers. Uh, okay. Because that will be important. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, during the night, uh, do you want to talk to them for the minion info, or do you want me to talk to them for that, just so we're not talking over each other? Yeah, I'll, I'll just take the lead on talking over it, or talking, yeah. not talking over you, talking over, talking with them. Um, minion info, demon info, that's all legit, we don't lie about that. Um... I'm just trying to check if there's anything else we need to think about. But this step, we don't. We just go tell them all the truth right now, right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. All right, I'll get McCain here first. Hello. Hello there, McKay. You are our Saranovas tonight. Hope that makes you excited. I am uh, so stoked. I have <laughs> never been. I was only at the Saranovas once, and it was in a very small game. The first night I made that I was Sarah Novus because I got pit hanged into Sarah Novus, I made myself mad because I panicked. And the second <laughs> night I made my demon mad because I panicked. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Well, this game, I will tell you that your fellow minion is Kai. And your demon is Richard. Oh boy. Well, at least they're next to each other. Um, that's that's all you learned, so good luck. Okay, I'll see you later tonight. Yeah, we'll come back for you later. Yep, bye. Cool. Let's get Kai in here. Hi, Steve. Hi, Mario. Hello, Kai. You're uh, building quite the uh, evil streak here, aren't you? Yeah, and I kind of like playing the evil player. <laughs> Taking after my own heart. Oh, so, I learned from the best. I told you that the other night. So, you know, watching the videos helps. <laughs> Take it from me. <laughs> You'll well, be evil soon. We're okay, going to find go out, right? Because maybe it's not going to pay off and maybe you're going to win. It's going to depend, right, on tonight's game. Yeah, it all depends on what's going on. So I am here to tell you that your fellow minion is McKay. Okay. And your demon is Richard. I, you know, I had a feeling it was him. Did you? I really did. Yeah. And I was like, wouldn't it be funny that Richard is the demon? <laughs> <laughs> well, you get your wish come true. Okay. Uh, cool. And that is it. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, and then we'll get Richard in here next. Uh, and the blusts are set. Yes, they are. Okay. Hey there, Richard. Welcome back. You get to be demon. I thought you said you took Gardner off the script. <laughs> <laughs> I paid the Pandemonium Institute quite a bit of uh -huh. money just to give me that feature. Yep, I figured. Well, well you know, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be a stream game any other way right so i agree it, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun and you get to play the shabaloth which is a fun one have you ever been the shabaloth i have never been the shabaloth no i don't see it a lot in games so it is no so not interesting even um mm -hmm. that being said i will tell you that your minions are mckay and kai okay, okay. and your bluffs are Town Crier. Town Crier. Clockmaker. Clockmaker. Fisherman. Fisherman. And just to be clear, because this is a special script, when you have an ability, you get to pick 
if you're going to bluff one of these, you know, using your information abilities, you would pick which storyteller you ask. Since we won't mm -hmm. actually go through that with you, you'd have to know ahead of time that we you would basically we'd be like, you know, which storyteller would you like? Is that how we're going to do it, Mario? We will say like, which storyteller would you like to pick? That's correct. Okay. So so. If you're going to bluff you... information, then you would also have to bluff which story tell you pick. Okay. Make sense? Yes. All right. Awesome. Good luck. Yep. All right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, there's no... I, I think it's funny, since I'm marked as the Sarah Novus on the night order, it says, visit me and McKay. <laughs> Okay, so for the Saranovis, it's not info, so we don't have to like do the whole who do you pick thing, right? You're muted, but I'm assuming it's a no. We can just go to hear it. Uh, so for, since McKay's not getting info, we don't have to do the whole like who do you like to pick? We just get their their yeah. choice. She, yeah, any as yeah. All right, let's get it. Let's get them in here. Hello. Welcome, welcome back, McKay. Uh, who would you like to pick, and what would you like to make a meta? Okay, so I think I think I'm gonna so night so I'm we're on stream. I'm gonna talk mm -hmm. as if, I, I say as if I don't do this even when we're not streaming because I can't <laughs> think without speaking aloud. I don't think I want to tip my hat that there's a Sarah Novus in play on night one on day one. So I think I'm going to pick myself, but I have to pick what I want to make myself mad as. I think it's more fun if I don't, I think it is more fun if I don't come out night one, because people won't know what's going on. And it's more fun to make people wonder. Although also I could Saranovis people and then stop Saranovising them when someone dies, which would really frame them as the Saranovis. Okay. Okay, one more minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I screwed this up so bad the last time I was Saranovis. And what did I do the last time I was Saranovis? I started by making myself mad. You told so me you panicked up. and picked yourself. <laughs> uh huh. So I am not going to make myself mad. Let's Sarah lock someone for as long as I can because it's funny. So I would like to choose Ash because I don't think people would assume that I would choose Ash. Okay. And I would like to make Ash mad as, ooh, Mutant is so mean, but I think politician. Okay, Ash mad Ash as the politician. politician. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Thank you, McKay. So uh, this is I, I've played with Ash as the politician before. She just says it, and she doesn't help the evil team. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that. I mean, that's it's interesting, right? It is interesting. Now we have to determine like what we consider madness, right? And I think the the most clear cut thing is that Ash has to convince people that she is the politician, not secretly play as the politician. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's how I I would prefer to run madness linearly. Ag agreed. So we will go wake Ash and tell her that she is. Let's just see. We tell. Uh, yeah, we just say it. you've been chosen to be mad as the politician. Okay. Bring in Ash in here. Why am I being woken? Hello, Ash. Um. Uh, how many different reasons could I be here to tell you something? I is the question. I feel like it's only Saranovis. Okay. What I'm if I told probably... you it's, it is okay. the Saranovis? Okay. <laughs> uh, so Fair the Saranovis has chosen to make you mad that you are the politician. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy that? Okay. Um. Uh, how would you run madness with that? I want to be very sure. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, what we're going to do is uh, you have to explicitly try to convince or, you know, be mad and convince people that you are the politician, which would mean, you know, not just playing, pretending like you're the politician, but like vocalizing it and making sure uh -huh. people understand it, that you are claiming politician. Wonderful. Make sense? <laughs> 
This is gonna be fun. This is gonna I, be great. It's a fun choice, and I can't wait to see what you, you do. You may with keep it. me alive longer, which honestly is fine. Because <laughs> if, if the Serenovus doesn't really communicate what they think I might be, cool. Or what they're making me mad as versus that I'm not that. Cool. This will be yeah. fun. Yeah, have fun with that, Ash. See ya. Okay, now we get to the juicy bits, Mario. Well, yeah, in that case, I'm going to say Minion wrong for Ash or Coulson then. So uh, you're setting, yeah, you're setting up that either Ash or McKay is the Serenovus, right? Don't want to be pointing to a Scarlet Woman. Right. So um, I guess for you, you can do literally anything you want. That's just not. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, so I'm. I think the Minion I'll show will be Godfather. Okay. And I think yeah, I'll do actually, it. So. Yeah, it kind of it kind of works with what we're setting up here. Um, and I'll probably do it between. We're showing Coulson info, right? Um, yeah. So I'll probably show Godfather between. Well, I'll probably do Mark and Tiffy, I guess. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that works. All right, I'm gonna bring Coulson in here, and then ha so, yeah, Coulson, and then he. The first thing we say is Coulson, please pick a storyteller, right? Yes. Okay, that's how we'll do it. Bring him in here. Hello, Hello there, Coulson. So, first of all, please pick a storyteller. This is a big choice. It's the only choice I get to make all game. It determines everything. Um, I'll go with Mario, please. All, All right. right, you have selected me. You learn either McKay or Ash is the Serenovus. Okay, I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. All right, one bit of true information. So, uh, so now we go to Tiffy. Um, this, we're yeah. not really making a choice, right? We just respond to whatever she picks. Uh, yeah, and then... I, yeah. And I lie and you tell the truth. That's correct. Okay, bringing Tiffy in here. Hello there, Hi. Tiffy. Can you please a pick a story? Time. Has it? Yeah. It, hey, it's we're we're talking about a lot of different things, and not just how every single token looks like a butthole. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not entirely wrong. I'm taking a look at the script right now. Well, butthole fortune teller, <laughs> the first choice you have to make is which storyteller would you like to consult? I am going to go with Mario. All right. You have to pick me. Please choose two players. Um, I am going to pick. Uh, let's go with Bryant and McKay. You have picked Bryant and McKay and you learn a no. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Two for two, Mario. I think they think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it would make sense. Yep. Um, okay, so now we go to Jonah. Jonah is a once per game ability. Yeah, same okay. trick. Uh, ask them if they want to use their ability, and then they choose the storyteller. Nice. Okay, let's get. Uh, where is he? Let's get Jonah in here. Hello. Hey, Jonah. Uh, first of all, would you like to use your ability? Um, let's, I'm going to wait a single day and see what happens, I think. Cool. All right. Fair enough. Thank you. Thanks. All right. So that means for math, if I get picked, then it's a zero. And if you get picked, it's anything but a zero. Yeah, so I'm wondering what I would give. So we had two real consults with you. Yeah, probably probably one. I'd be honest with you. One, if, if two people, so we don't we don't know what the evil team's going to bluff as, right? But they do have three bluffs that gather information, so they will definitely be lying, you know, pretending to be that. So if we give, like, I'm trying to avoid the situation where everyone's like, oh, well, we all visited Mario and they solve it instantly. So we have no idea what the evil team is going to bluff. But if I give a crazy number, it, it kind of tells them that I'm the liar. Yeah, so I think one is probably the safe choice here. 
in that just world. Just because the bluffs, of, of the bluffs, only one of them wakes up this night. Is it only one? Clockmaker. It's just the clockmaker, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, one is the safe number. Okay, cool. Getting Becca in here. Hello. Hey, Becca. Uh, so first of all, who would you like mm -hmm. to ask? Mm -hmm. I think I want to ask you, Steve. Fair enough. You consult me, and I give you a one. All right. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Does, wait, hold on. Uh, uh, does it count themselves? No, it wouldn't, right? Well, that's, that's a, a, a drunk math. Yeah, that's a good point, right? I don't think so. Shouldn't, because a drunk math would... It, it just Whoa. says if they choose if they choose a star who teller who cannot tell the truth, this number must be wrong. That's all it says with the jinx. So, so we satisfy that, right? It says when the mathematician yeah, wakes, they will learn how many players receive false information from the storyteller as well as due to another character's ability. If they choose the wrong, or if they choose a storyteller who cannot tell the truth, this number must be wrong. So yeah, like, I see what you're saying. Yeah, is the one. <laughs> I don't. Th it's weird. It's this, it's this weird, like infinite state, right? Where it's not yeah. one until I say it, and then it is. Um, oh, no, we're doing some quantum physics. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if anyone asks, I, we will just say, right? The uh, we don't like we the mathematician number would not count itself talking to the wrong storyteller as I, right. Yeah, I think that makes sense, and it's just the easiest thing for us to do as well. Yeah, it, be, otherwise we get in this really weird state where we can never yeah. give a one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, cool. That is everything. We don't have to bluff anything. We'll go wake him up. I'm feeling real inspired. I'm inspired. I'm pretty sure this is why Thomas Harris wrote four Hannibal Lecter books. So. That was the wrong button. Or <laughs> <laughs> the right button, honestly. Because we knew you were coming back before you came back. Good morning, town. There is a Minotaur on the loose. It has killed poor evil Steve and poor Mario Aqua. Go find the demon and earn your escape. I'll give you guys six minutes on this first day. Meow. Mark, want to chat? Meow. So chat, let me know who we want to follow. Sure, I'm playing this. Job. Hi, Steve! <laughs> 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 Your turn, right. Tiffy. Okay. Well, fortunately, Steve already knows about it because I talked about it in our console. Uh, if I were to equate my token to a butthole, um, like what does a rim job look like? A rim job is an action, dude. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's 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 a cat. It's a cat's butthole. Yours is a cat's butthole. Mine's mine's the cat's butthole. Here. I write this down. All right. So the only we have a Godfather and then a Fingu. This okay. should theoretically be the only things that affect outsider care. I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Cool. Cool. Uh. What would you like to do? I don't know what do you want to do well okay i have a question does your did you wake last night i did not wake last night okay so that kills my second question then <laughs> good luck with that okay um, well steve is here so now he can give me my information so right, Joe, i'll leave it thank you. you we're just gonna hang out for a few minutes what are you bluffing Fisherman. <laughs> okay, if if you're gonna bluff it, we should get the other storyteller because then you'd have to choose which storyteller you actually talk to, right? Yeah, yeah. So let me uh, let me try to get Mario in here. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, I forgot the other bluff that was supposed to tell me. <laughs> Hello, Mario. Hello. Uh, Kai is here to uh, get Fisherman information. Oh, okay. So, oh. you know, which which one of us would you like to consult, Kai? Oh, man. 
I consult with you before, Steve, so I think I'm going to do Mario tonight. Okay. Well, this turn. Yeah. So, you know, Mario, just, just, just be aware, right? Fisherman, this is a once per game ability. Understand. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, Mark, let's chat. I heard another meow. <laughs> Hello hey, there. I'm just, just keeping my... Uh, Savant bluff as a possibility, so I had to talk to the storyteller. For sure, and we should probably any... we should you probably get Mario room? in here too. Okay, I think oh, I, I think get to ask both of you. No, I think um, what like what the thing says is if you're going to consult on like an ability like that, both storytellers have to be present. Okay, but I, but I can only ask one. Why can I not get Mario in here though? But this is just a bluff, so it doesn't have to be. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll the just, funny you thing just is, say you asked here's, me. Here's the funny thing. I, I just randomly picked Ravenkeeper as my hand icon. And then you guys <laughs> made me Ravenkeeper, so I had to change it back to hand because I thought signaling them the Ravenkeeper <laughs> would not be a good idea. You signaled it before you even had your token. so that... Yes, I, I, was flick, I was flicking Ravenkeeper as my hand. I changed it just randomly, and I'm like, oh, it's my token. I'm like, oh, shit. I better Got change it. my token. Okay, thanks for the right. fun info. No worries. Good All luck right. with it. Okay. Anybody? Jonah? Fredo? I'll talk. I'll talk with someone. Sure. Let's go, Mark. Hello. Hey. You want to do threes? What do you want to do? Um, let's do three. Sure. Let's do three. Um, I will give you uh, Clockmaker, Fisherman, Cannibal. Clockmaker. Okay, I'll give you Savant, Fisherman, Professor. Cool. Awesome. Good to know. Okay. Thank you. Right. Good luck. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'll do twos. Um, I am either the mathematician or the seamstress. Okay, I am either the uh, fortune teller or the slayer. Fortune, you're stealing my role. I am. You don't give it to me. I'm gonna give it right back to you. I'm the slayer, and I'm a slayer. Shoot you. That would be. I'm waiting for the day that I get first day slayer shot as the demon. I know that's gonna be so great. Imagine if it would happen today if I'm the Slayer, right? Unfortunately, I'm not the demon, so that's not going to work, but okay. maybe one day. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh. Saw you dance around there in that last chat, Tiffy. Uh, I, it was a bit. I was doing a bit. <laughs> You're doing a bit? How dare you be funny? A uh, bit. A uh, bit. <laughs> The town crier, the slayer, or mm -hmm. the raven keeper? Town crier, slayer, raven keeper. Yep. I oh, hope that's good to know. Love it. We'll see, it. We'll see it. how Steve uh, Steve runs you being the cannibal. Mm, I bet you. Interesting. You know. mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Jenna. All right. Thanks. See it. Brian, you want to chat so you can lie to me? Sure. Ooh, gonna get the double down. Gonna double get double. it. Go, oh, just avoided it. Okay, well, the time for deliberations has ended. It is time for executing. Um, I'll leave a quick pause in case anyone wants to use inability before I open nominations. There's not What's a lot. I see slayers. Um, Tiffy would like to claim slayer and shoot Becca. If he claims Slayer and shoots Becca. Do you want to know my weapon of choice? I do not. The game no. no. <laughs> I'm hoping it's Mountain Dew can and not the other thing. 
<laughs> oh, sure, I do like this. The Mountain, the Mountain Dew cookbook. <laughs> All right. If nothing else, I will go ahead and open nominations. I, I claimed Slayer and shot Becca. Yeah, the game went on. Okay. You didn't shoot Ash. That's the problem. <laughs> Don't worry. I haven't been Becca. fang you jumped quite yet. He didn't use your badge. Gotta wait till later. All right, nominations are Wilson, open. Do you want to be numbed? Um, Tiffy will nominate Kai. Tiffy nominates Already? Kai. Already? Tell us Welcome why. to the stream, Kai. Welcome to the stream, Kai. It's okay. Go ahead. What's the? Wh why are you nominating me? Oh, because Kai told me to go ahead. I heard the, from Kai that this is a good kill for today. <laughs> That'd be great if we spoke. <laughs> We spoke with just now. You just said just no, now. No, I said go ahead with the defense, not go ahead. You did not say defense. You said go ahead. I meant go ahead with the defense. Oh, okay. Oh, that, I that's mean, your, the, your, your job to do the defense. the defense. Um, basically, I don't want the guy I am. I am a role that does get information. So um, I'm asking that this do not go through. Right hand of the grim, no right. pity. This will take six votes to put Kai on the block. Oh, wait, before we do this, I need to check the game settings, because last time we had it set really short. <laughs> oh, God. I don't need a lot of time to I think. I mean, didn't we talk about trying to, you know, be more nice to the newer player? No, we uh, more nice to the I also think this is a good kill, well, to be honest. Is this, is a, this is a very hot topic, and I, I didn't agree to that. Four is not enough. Kai is safe. Brian nominates Ash. Brian nominates Ash. Tell us why. Uh, Ash has claimed a role to me that would make this a mercy killing because I don't think <laughs> Ash would want to be a Fengu. Oh, snap. Ash? I'll, I'll, I'll let it be a day. <laughs> we'll see. Come back tomorrow. We'll see. So you want to be the Fengu? Okay. No, not particularly, but I have no no idea if a Fengu exists yet. I mean, so. she's going to get jumps too now. Absolutely. Come on, you can do it. All right, six votes needed to put Ash on the block. They can jump if they want, but you know they're gonna get killed very shortly. If Ash, so. Ash, this is a kindness. I don't take your pity. I would vote Honestly, on it except for least. the content. The, co the content <laughs> screams. <laughs> Ash to become the Fango. That's true. Five votes is not Get enough. Ash is safe. Oh, thanks. Any other nominations? There's no Vortox. Nope. Uh, this is a plus one script. Well, there is a Vortox. It's called our storytellers. Ah, there is, there, one there, one there of is them is. Witch. There ain't gonna there say who. Vortox. The other one's anti-Vortox. But there is a town crier, and I'm okay. Final call for nominations. I nominate Evil Steve. Invalid nomination. <laughs> no atheist on that. Uh, Richard nominates McKay. Richard nominates McKay. Tell us why. Witch check. I thought there was a witch on script. McKay? Is there a witch on script? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I survived. Don't kill play. me yet. Please don't kill me yet. That's that's my defense. Oh come right. on! Six of the needed. No one wants to die. Six needed. Why? The script is very so information heavy. Can't imagine why no one want to die. I would never vote for you, McKay. You're such a jackass. Pardon my <laughs> French. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Oh, Mark. Six I is enough. Oh. McKay is on the block. I would really, it wasn't really even a real her. nomination, guys. I would but... really prefer not to. Real to enough. Check. Turn to the right there. Right. I nominate Jonah nominates. Brian. Wait, wait. Jonah, you nominated Fredo? Okay. Yes, please. Jonah nominates Fredo. Tell us why. Could be good cannibal food. I mean, Fredo told me he's the virgin, so. <laughs> Fredo, your defense? <laughs> Um, I'm not the tastiest of, ver of cannibal food, but I am a virgin. Oh, I don't know. Weird. Virgin meat. 
All right, six will tie seven to put Fredo on the block. Oh, it sounds a little bit like minion panic to me, but whatever. Well, I mean, well, it doesn't matter now. It's just an extreme waste if I die. That's all I'm going to say. Oh. Like it's wow. Four is not enough. Mm. Mark, did you uh, want to oh. nominate me? Um, If you want me to, I will. I do. Okay, I'll mm. nominate Coulson. Mark nominates Coulson. Tell us why. Because he wants to die. Well, I'd like to be nominated anyway. <laughs> Coulson? Um, yeah. Um, I think it's alright to kill me. Uh, that's primarily because I do not have a useful townsfolk power. I am not a townsfolk. Specifically, right. I am not a townsfolk. Six will tie seven to put Coulson on the block. Coulson demon confirmed. Oh, right. You just confirmed what you mean by that. It's going up with my head. So uh, you're saying you're a Shelbyville person? Not right, we don't know a weird what way to claim like witch or something. Again, 34 years so, the Simpsons have hmm. been on. 34 seven. years. Seven is enough. Gonna, Coulson is on the block. Shelbyville is pretty I'm early gonna, on, though, Fred. I'm, I'm going to throw this out there for anyone who's about to be executed. Specifically, like Colson's claim, not a townsfolk. But if we have like a clockmaker that's about to be executed or investigator, it would probably really help any cannibal if they would let people know which storyteller they asked. Because then, if a cannibal asks the other one, one of you, the two will have correct info. I you will could just that's the thing. bring this if a to a close. Not your role necessarily, mm -hmm. so you could double check to see what they actually. Right. Yeah, just it's a good say point. what right. storyteller you chose. If I asked anybody anything, it was Mario. Bring the day to a close. In three, two, one. Coulson is executed and dies. Go to sleep. I mean, it would be pretty weird for the demon to specifically get themselves nominated for a potential of being killed. Well, well Brian might be too smart for this. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, he's got the right idea, right? Uh, I mean, in theory, um, we just give the same answers, I guess, if he gives me... Well, yeah, that's the question, right? Uh, are you planning on um, asking... Like, if, if if he asked you, are you going to show the same information? Uh, let's see if he dies first. It's weird, because you have to tell the truth. So if you give anything that's truth that's not exactly the same, it, the overlapping information pretty much pins them down, right? Yeah, I kind of wish I put the recluse in now. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It That's is why I wanted the next game, though. Anyways, let's see if he yeah. dies first. Maybe hopefully yeah. he just dies first. He could die. Uh, McKay, McKay's in an interesting spot because McKay is bluffing a role that is, you know, like long term good for town. But that's because McKay never got the bluff of Clockmaker assigned properly. Oh. So um, when that's that's the last bluff because Kai is sort of bluffing Fisherman and yeah. Richard's kind of bluffing Town Crier. So that leaves Clockmaker for McKay. So McKay's going to have to pivot to making something up at this point. Yeah, I think they've got it. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, now, did you... Ash is being pretty open about being, you know, an outsider. I don't know if you heard politicians specifically in any of your I uh, used the new follow feature Ooh. to follow her around. I did. Yeah. Cool. So. cool. Cool. All right, so we'll start with Ash. Uh, no info, so we don't have to have to choose a storyteller, just get her pick. Oh, come on. Hello there, politician. Freaking Sarah Novis, leave me alone. I don't want to die. I mean, actually, I'm here for your monk pick. Oh, wait, do I go first? I do go first. Oh, God. They're going to choose me again, I'm sure. Um, I have no clue who I want to protect, honestly. Um, I'll choose Richard. Richard, it is. Thank you. Yep. Well, that's a choice. Yeah. <laughs> Protect the demon from themselves. I mean, so, go ahead and wake Evil Steve for the Sarah Novus picks. <laughs> right. Uh, McKay made it seem like their plan was to just keep. Ash Sarah locked, but let's go find out. Uh, 
Hi. Hello there, McKay. You were saved at the end of the day there. God damn. Honestly, I just didn't want to die. So there's two things right now that I'm doing. The first is I didn't want to die as the Saranovis when I only got to use my power once. And the second is I want to look like a panicking demon so that if I, so I can cause confusion later. Um, the right. third is that I'm bluffing professor at this point, which is bad for me if there's a real professor in town, but that is the one I'm going to bluff and I'm going to come out with it if someone is resurrected because this is Shab. Because fun fact, I still don't know what demon we have because apparently <laughs> Richard never told Kai. So when I spoke to Kai, Kai did not tell me. Anyway, <laughs> fun. Um, I think I want to leave it on Ash for now. Same role? Yes, same role, prof uh, but politician on Ash. Let's All leave right. it there. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so now Ash will be upset when we visit her a second time. <laughs> 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 Let's go get her in here. <laughs> now I certainly know I am back here. Yeah, so I am back here again, Ash, to tell you that you have been picked to be mad about being the politician again. Why couldn't they change it up? That'd be more fun. I, there's only so much fun we allow in this. It's okay. Game. I think I'm going to be able to be staying alive by trying to convince some town to not take pity on me. <laughs> Therefore, meaning that, you know, they won't try to kill me and save me from my actually not fate. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. Good luck. See ya. All um, right. Since there's two of us, um, the nights are going to inherently take a little bit longer. Um, while you're talking, during these nights, do you think I could just do like the shab picks through the thing for next night? Obviously, it's too late. We now. could. The reason I like to do it is just specifically for stream content, so we can hear the thought yeah, process. Yeah, I just want to about stream doing. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's going a little slower, but that's par for the course. Hey, Richard. Hello. So uh, we, we're choosing to do this through talking instead of the stream, the card things specifically for stream. So please talk yeah, us yeah. through your two picks and also maybe why. All right. Well, I'm thinking at some point I will pick Colson just because I don't know if you've you probably haven't been listening, but the whole they were chatting about, oh, you know, he just wanted to die because he knew he was coming back and they were talking about Narnia. And I think it'd be funny if it actually happened. Um, but I might not do that tonight. Or should I? Um... Just as a heads up, we can't resurrect him until after the after, day you yeah, pick him, and only the night after you pick him. I know. Uh, see, but then if he's if he's a good role like the Clockmaker, and he gets the Cannibal gets Clockmaker, and he gets Clockmaker again, that might be a little too powerful, just for a meme. But it is good content. Um, you know what? Screw it. I've never been the Shabaloth. I make my own decisions. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, I'll pick Bryant and Coulson. Bryant and Coulson in that order. And maybe that'll also hide uh, Shabaloth for a little while. So, okay, fair enough. Right. Thank you. Well, oh, thank fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's also <laughs> that cannibal problem. Yeah, oh, that's fine. <laughs> I, yeah, I think that's smart. Also, to hide the Shab the first night. Yeah, yeah, and it can also potentially bring back uh, Coulson later and help do that professor bluff that they're hoping for so we'll see yeah, how the we'll game's see. going later but yeah so brian's out so brian will learn nothing which probably the right call i think yeah. especially as vocal as he was about sharing information <laughs> in the chat <laughs> um raven keeper did not die uh so F tiffy we'll visit tiffy um in tiffy's case right there's no pre-decisions we just react to what she chooses oh. I lie. You're telling the truth. Got it. All right. Tiffy it is. Tiffy. Hey there, Tiffy. Hey. Right now, we are having a very heated discussion over whether or not you can uh, pump your own gas in New Jersey. And it's making me very uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Uh, you cannot do that. We are not, neither, uh, wait. <laughs> I don't know if that was a bait to try to get out which other this story does, but I do know by law you can't pump your own gas in New Jersey. But uh, I, yes, but 
Colson's from New Jersey and he swears there's like a Wawa somewhere. There's a couple Wawas that can find. Interesting. So if chat knows, get in the comments and help my boy out, please. <laughs> well, that being said, which storyteller would you like to consult? Uh, I am going to stick with my 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 boy Mar Mario Mario. All right, <laughs> you have chosen me. Please choose two players. Uh, let's go with. Hmm, I'm gonna go with Becca and Mark. You choose Becca and Mark, and you learn to know. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Yep. I think it makes sense, especially as a fortune teller, to stick with the same storyteller. Yeah, because you just reverse engineer it in the end. Yeah, if you get two no's in a row, you probably can deduce that you're telling the truth. Yeah, More than likely. Yeah, should put the red clues in. Oh man, we'll definitely do it next game. <laughs> uh, so Tiffy's got that narrowed down. We'll go see. Jonas seemed to think that he was going to use it the next night. So let's see if he wants to. Oh, so let's talk about this, right? Uh, this is also one where there's no choice for us to make. We just mechanically react to whatever he picks. Yep, that's correct. So there's no choice. Okay. Bringing him in. Hello, Jonah. Hello. So would you like to use your ability? Yeah, let's do it today. I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to pick... Let's get my info from Mario. Yeah, All right. I know he's probably lying, but I'll figure it out later. Let's get. I'm going to pick Fredo and Bryant. Actually, Fredo. Yeah. Sorry, Fredo and Kai, please. You pick Fredo and Kai, and you learn a no. Great. Thank you very much. They definitely think that I'm the one telling the truth at this point. <laughs> it's it's true, but then at the same time, he did he did say I'm picking Mario, but I think Mario might be telling lies, which is weird. Uh, we'll to see. pick the one he thinks telling lies, but that is uh -huh. you know that's an interesting one. Uh, I don't think that necessarily hurts evil that bad there. Um, yeah. Hmm. Um, but yes, yeah, so for math, it would be uh, zero for me. And um, whatever and I want. Anything? Yeah, we're in that weird quantum state where if I give a one, oh. it, it <laughs> sort of makes itself true. But I think if I am picked, I will give a one. Well, let's yeah, see. Um, it's still one, yeah. I think the town crier is getting information tonight. We don't know what Richard's gonna say. Um, how many people did we actually have visit? It was two. Right? So far, it's been two. Yeah. I guess you could give a two. I'm uh, thinking about giving a two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's get Becca in here. Hello, Hello Becca. Would Who would like you to like to consult? Mario, please. Oh, and Steve seems upset. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you have chosen me, and you learn a zero. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they're uh, hmm. they're definitely. On to us. <laughs> yeah, we definitely should have. We should have put a recluse on. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. I mean, people are just kind of feeling around the script for the first time, right? Yeah, that's why. That's why I wanted to put the Scarlet Woman in the first time, just because in, in case this started happening immediately. So. All, all right. So let's go. Uh, wake him up and announce that Bryant has died. I, no, she's a I would never world. want to live in New Jersey for that reason alone. It just makes me so uncomfortable. You can't. Colson, it means you just said wait for your attendant to come pump your gas. Well, you can wait. Like, oh. Good later. morning, town. As you make your way through this maze, you stumble across the dead body of Bryant. I'll give you guys Ooh. five minutes today. Ash, are you the Pengu now? No. Bryant, you lied to me about your Mario. role? Mario, can I meet with you? I don't know why you sure. mark him down. I don't even put what Brian tells me first day. I mean, you told me klutz. I'm pretty confident <laughs> he wasn't the klutz. Hey, I'm just, I'm just uh, pretending to bluff a savant. So I met with Steve yesterday, and I'm meeting with you today. All right, sounds good. Uh, you learned something, 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 yeah, something, you're, something. You're, you're lying. Something, something, something. <laughs> you're the liar. Something, okay. something, something. Thanks. Yep. 
uh, wants to claim to be a townsfolk. I'm I... going to assume that means... <laughs> um... Okay, so I'm going to guess that you're... I've heard of a seamstress. So okay. investigator? Or Maybe. was the other seamstress lying to me? I am not the seamstress. Okay. Anyway, it isn't relevant if you were a cannibal, because I am not going to use it at this time. Okay. Okay, well, thanks for telling me. Mario's lying, then... If Mario's lying, then um, then you guys are on the same team. If Mario's telling the truth, you guys are on opposite teams. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, now I'm now I'm gonna be in sus town. I am right. of the opinion that Mario's telling the truth because Kai is reading very. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Steve. Kai is reading very weird to me. She claimed a uh, very first thing I went to chat with Kai. She hadn't chatted with anyone yet, mm -hmm. and she claimed she was a fisherman who'd already used her ability. And I thought that was weird. Well, she did yesterday spend a while talking to a storyteller. Uh, yeah, but that was after I spoke to her. Oh well, in that case, I spoke to her first thing. We were, we were both we were both each other's first chats. Um, well, I don't know. So I'm I am willing to I would like potentially for Kai to die at some point. Um, okay, I'm down. And at the same time, if I were to die, I will gladly choose you. Okay, cool. For a, a dead player, you. Well, there's a shout out, but it's a storyteller decision. It'd have had to be a star pass for me to be evil, I think. Yeah. All right, fine. I'm the mathematician. Cool. Uh, have you gotten... I talked to Steve the first night and got a one. I talked to Mario last night and got a zero. Okay. And the problem is, if you talk to the one who lied, it doesn't mean anything to us. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. All right. See ya. You want to do twos, threes? What do you want to do? Um, you know, I spent all day lying yesterday. Okay. No twos? I will hard claim to you and only You'll you. You'll hard claim one. to me. Okay. Okay. I am the klutz. You're the klutz. You're yet mm -hmm. another outsider. Okay, interesting. You're like the third outsider. That's Or fourth outsider, I've heard. But okay. Well, well if, you are the, if you are the klutz... I'll tell you, I'm either the savant or the professor. Savant or the professor? Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I die, should I choose you? You should. If you get, if you die, you should definitely choose me. Okay, because you're good. Okay. I'm good. All right. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh. Mario, you love me in chat. Thank you, Mario. That's the only one. Everyone, no one picks me because they know I'm evil. That's my fault. I curated this personality. Oh. Oh. Hold on, sorry, but sorry, Becca. I'm gonna chat with Colson first. That's fine. What were you? Uh, I am the mutant. Unless you are the cannibal and want to tell me I was something else. Uh, I am not the cannibal. Sorry. Mm. I was really hoping for a cannibal. A cannibal that would then become mutant. No, I wasn't the mutant. Oh. <laughs> I want the cannibal to tell me what I was. <clears throat> okay. I'm assuming clockmaker yeah. then. Um, something that, yeah, uh, something like that, that the cannibal would know exactly what I was if they got woken with my ability. Yep. Okay. I'm either the savant, the slayer, or the town crier. Savant, slayer, town crier. Okay. Yep. I can write that down. See it. Thanks. Steve, can you stick around? Sure. What am I sticking around for this time? Uh, savant. Savant. Okay. Just so, both. if... You were the savant. I would tell you oh, thing one. I don't care about one. it. Though. I'm not gonna actually tell anyone. I'm or I would tell you thing two. Yep. I talked to Mario yesterday. How much yeah. time do you want me to bluff? If I can keep talking. Ah, should be good. You sure? I'm not actually gonna stick with it. So. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. Uh, so yep, that or that. You got it. Mm -hmm.
No. It'd be weird to do, but technically possible. Oh. Oh. Huh. God, I should have looked at this script better to see. You probably what should have looked at this script, yeah. <laughs> okay. I haven't talked to Becca so far. Oh, I guess neither of us are talking to Becca. <laughs> I get you covered. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Did not make it through my whole list of people today. I've made it through so few people to begin with, so. Same. Same. These days are feeling very short. <laughs> yeah, these days are feeling very short. <laughs> Listen, I said five minutes and I gave you guys like seven minutes or something, so. I don't know if they're feeling like long. Anyhow. Quick, someone check, someone check their watch and see if he's lying. <laughs> I have no watches. I will give you a moment in case anyone wants to use any abilities at this time. Uh, I will say that I have heard of a fisherman who whose advice points to Mario Aqua as being the truth slayer. Truth, truth slayer? <laughs> I, he is I, the truth slayer of all of us. I am also of the opinion that Mario is the truth sayer. I have a question. Power is used by the, like, if you use a power, it's going to work, right? Yes, Either. correct. Unless yeah. you are the cannibal and poisoned. All right. Uh, Richard claims Slayer and shoots Ash. Richard claims Slayer and shoots Ash. The game goes on. I just feel like this is going to be a theme. <laughs> All right, nominations. Nominations are officially open. Uh, Tiffany nominates Ash. Tiffany nominates Ash. Tell us why. This is this is a really good kill today, especially because the uh, I'm not super worried about a politician getting Ash's power. Ash. Politician getting Ash's power. Huh? Uh, yes, I'm not worried about a politician getting your. Uh, you, mean, you mean you don't expect the day to end tomorrow? The like, game uh, to yeah. end tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I I I, I still don't think I'm your best choice. I I haven't been a fangu jumped. Don't think I'll be a fangu jumped. Considering, probably want to wait till later. Deal with me. All right, it'll take five votes to put Ash on the block. I would really like for Ash to be on the block today. This is not just Harvey Madness. Bryant, you're using a dead vote. Good, good hey, job. Thanks, Jimmy. Fredo. Jesus, I've done that so many times. <laughs> Dude, I got you. Five I is enough. Ash is on the block. Any other nominations? I'm not the politician. Um, I will nominate Kai. Jonah nominates Kai. Tell us why. Um, I think Kai is likely evil for a couple of reasons. Kai? We're going to start this game every night. Somebody's <laughs> going to put me on the block. Yeah. All right, fine. Again, welcome to game. That's fine. If you feel like you want to execute me, I I say no, because I I don't want to give up my information yet because I want to make sense of it. But are you a spent roll? Now, if I say that, you're gonna put your hand up. Yeah, <laughs> I know better than that question. I mean, I mean, I think even if you answer it like that, he's gonna put his hand up. <laughs> All right, five to tie, six to a Kai on the block. I don't know if it's going to go through anyway because I broke Sarah Madness, but whatever. Or this is just minion panic. No. Or getting the new Fangu off. Six is enough. Kai is on the block. Well, so it's I just good time like, not be mad at the politician anymore because it's really annoying. Yeah. So you're not if an outsider? It's panic. No, I'm not an outsider, no. Interesting. Any other nominations? Mm. What are you, Ben Ash? So that means we have a Serenatus oh, in play. It's connected. What I All have right. is disconnected, apparently. 
I will bring the day to a close in three, two, one. Ash is executed and dies. Go to sleep. That's a shame, but I tried. What were you? Oh, we don't want to talk about it. No, I won't tell you until tomorrow. I mean, we had to at that point, right? Yeah, I Kai's fisherman advice essentially told Tiffy that I was the one telling the truth. So I think right. that's why I was like, yeah, we definitely have to kill Ash now. Yeah, I mean, just um, doing this, just kind of like, it helps evil, but just by making, they either have to waste a whole other day executing Kai or, you know, figure out what we're doing here, right? But, yeah. but you know, the Saranovus is out and about and whether, I guess the, this, the only thing this does is it confirms Saranovus as a minion. But that's probably fine. Yeah, I think this is much better than Kai dying. Yeah, I agree. Um, I wanted to draw it out to let them do more, but then um, <laughs> yeah, at the I end, just uh, pull the old switcher. Yeah, yeah, I I didn't want to kill her just to make sure that you. Were, I wasn't sure if you were doing something. Yeah. Uh, so Ash is dead, so there's no protect. Uh, McKay will now be free to uh, to Sarah pick someone else or keep Ash and Sarah locked. <laughs> Which doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> but let's get Ash in. Or sorry, let's get McCain here. Hello there, McKay. I would like to make Fredo mad as the professor. Fredo mad as the professor. Got it. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you. That's interesting. I think she's so, gonna try and push on him that he's double claiming her. It's possible for sure. I feel like we're probably gonna rebirth Colson tonight, you think? Um uh, No, because he's just gonna come to me. <laughs> Got it. Um uh, I think for- if anything we wait till see if the Raven Keeper dies and then we'll go from there. True. Yeah, let's uh let's go pick uh Fredo and see what and let him know he's mad. Hello there, Fredo. Why are you waking me up? I am here to tell you that the Saranovis has picked you to be mad that you are the professor. <gasps> Do I get a Marianne or a Gilligan? You can have them all. Yeah! A skipper, too. All right. No, all right. No millionaires. No. Or wives. No, the wives can come. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's done. So now we go get Richard's picks. All right, Richard, what are you feeling tonight? Um, well, if my minion can be believed, Jonah's the seamstress and Tiffy's the fortune teller, which is unfortunate because they're the only two that nominated and I was going to try to... See that one, you know, try to, you know, frame one of them as a minion with uh, my town crier. But I'm going to say that, flip that around, and I'm going to kill both of them. So it's Tiffy and Jonah? Uh, Tiffy and Jonah, please, yes. In, w- in which order would you like that to go through? Ooh, because uh, there is a monk. Um, we'll go Jonah and then Tiffy. Jonah and then Tiffy. Okay, perfect. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Just make him sweat it a little bit, even though there's no <laughs> monk attack. <laughs> Keep him on his toes. Um, okay, yes. so the Ravens Keeper's not dying, but both of towns, like, you know, I mean, Tiffy's pretty powerful information gatherer. Yeah. Um, we're also seeing a double death for the first time, which either signals Godfather or Shab. There's no other choice, I don't think, on this script. Yeah. If Ash uh, is lying about being the politician, but then we they wouldn't have gotten Saranovas killed, so I guess Shab's out. So is there any the merit? Cannibal could be interesting, because then they get a monk protect the next night. Uh, let's see. That is true, unless they execute someone tomorrow. Sure. That is correct, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I guess besides Fredo, wait, hold on. Once, once the kill, I can probably have to revive Coulson at this point. Well, or it's Brian. weird, right? Because if we revive yeah. Coulson, hmm. 
Well, okay, let's hold on. So if Jonah, Jonah and Tiffany die and say they execute one more person, that leaves them on four, so or five. Uh-huh. Um, and then two kills go through again, so that's three. And then we have to revive at four, and then they're going to sleep, so it would be three again. Um, so I think we but have to But you wouldn't sleep with the shab, because I would... Well, I guess you could. Oh, true, but... yeah. Um, but that's still, like, that still seems super rough, considering Kai is still alive, actually. I think given uh, the Professor Madness and the Professor Bluff by McKay, I think we do revive, but I am up for choosing whether it's Coulson or Bryant, right? Yeah. I think those are both. Um, Bryant's interesting because we bring the candle back, but like if you look at what he actually has access to, it's mm-hmm. Klutz, it's Scarlet Woman, Shab, Raven Keeper, and Mathematician, and Theranova, so there's not a lot of good powers for Bryant to get. Yeah, so we have not to that powerful. Person, yeah. I agree. So, but you, uh, so you want to do Colson? Do you think it's it's uh, more? Yeah. I mean, like the only way that I think Cannibal's like ability stays powerful is if they don't execute anyone and he becomes the monk. But that's, uh, I think, Fair unlikely enough. given Kai being pushed on a lot. So, two questions. First of all, um, it's a question I had about the uh, the mathematician. The mathematician basically reads all information since dawn, right? So, does that include? Savant and fisherman info that come to us during the day, it would, right? Yeah, yeah. So if anyone, everyone that came to us and bluffed, you know, Savant, I had two people bluff Savant yesterday, yeah. so it's possible that those numbers would be included in mathematicians' numbers, just just so we have the full picture of what it could be. Um, and secondly, with Colson being resurrected, that means we go tell him his new starting info, right? That's correct. Um, it's not. It's not on the. It's not on the normal night order, but it would go before the rest of. Like normally, it goes before all the other info. So I think we should go do it now. Yeah, we would so, do it now. So um, I'm who just, do you want to show? I guess because uh, if if you show the same minion, you're yeah, they're gonna and he picks you that. again. You're, they're gonna know McKay is a Theranos, but that might not like be the worst thing to frame, right? I don't know. I don't know if it's good or not. Well, the other option is showing the Scarlet Woman, and then that sort of blows the game open, too. It does, yeah. Uh, I think I have to show the Serenovus again. So, yeah, who would you put in the other ping? Um, I guess it can't be Ash. Uh, let's do Fredo, but they're going to double playing Professor, then. Uh yeah, that's for fun. So either McKay or Fredo as the Theranovus. And yeah. um I'm pretty sure I will show So we have we have the resurrection going off. Uh this still seems like it'd be unlikely to be Godfather, but maybe I stick with Godfather, because my only other option is Witch, which hasn't procked in a bunch of days. Or I can yeah. lie about it. I guess I could lie about the Scarlet Woman being in play. Um, I'd say Scarlet Woman just pointed two good players. Yeah, I might even show like Richard and someone else in the Scarlet Woman ping. Oh, but, that'd be interesting. But the evil is winning now, though, based on the Serenovus Mad Break gifts. Yeah, it's weird because that almost like makes him less likely to be killed if I do it. Yeah. Oh man. So Jonas dead. If he's dead, we got Becca. Mark. Mm. Okay, yeah, I think if they pick me, I'm gonna do Richard Mark as the Scarlet Woman. Just okay. they're not yeah, gonna pick me works. anyways. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Colson in here. All right. Hello. Hey, Colson. Hi. Um. Please pick which storyteller you'd like to get your information from. I'm confused. <laughs> Spoiling the night phase for you, sorry. Yeah, I mean, your role is still what it is, but we're here, and maybe you'll be able to figure out why. We can't say oh, much. Okay. All right, all right. I wasn't expecting that. Interesting. Uh, I guess I'll ask Steve this time. Okay. I am here to tell you that either Mark or Richard is the Scarlet Woman. Mark, Richard, Scarlet Woman. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Uh, So that's going to be a truthful 
one for the mathematician. So that means the fake number can it be anything other than a one. And given that, well, I think I'm going to give a zero if they ask me. I don't mm. think anyone that was bluffing fishermen or savant were being super hardcore about it, so they're not going to try to convince anyone. That's true. Um, push comes to shove. If I give a two, the only people that got information last night was Colson with, with Tiffy dying. Yeah, I'm going to give a zero if they pick me, and the correct answer is one, right? Uh, yes, because of Colson. Okay, so we'll go to Becca and see what she wants to do. Not answering. Hello. Hey, Becca. Uh, who would you like to get your information from? I would like to get my information from Mario, please. All right, you have chosen me, and you learn a one. All right, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, so we're uh, the game state. Two are dying tonight, one's coming back to life. Very interesting. It's it's very clearly a Shabaloth. Yeah, I guess the evil team could try to pull out, pull out the God, uh, Godfather plus Professor, but we'll see. There's still there's going to be seven alive, right? One, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's not if the game's in danger of dying. Cool. Or sorry, ending. Let's go wake him up. Okay, cool. So All right, if you want to charge me less, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> okay, charge me less for like three years. Good morning, everyone. Unfortunately, Tiffy has died in the night. You find her body dead in the corner of one of the mazes, and standing over Tiffy's dead body is an alive Coulson who rejoins the town. You made me sound really sus there. <laughs> oh, also, when you turn around, Jonah's dead too. Oh. I'm gonna give you guys five minutes. So, Coulson, are you a, a weird entity that just pulls energy out of people's bodies? I am not weird. No, I'm gonna talk to Brian. Tiffy, Jonah, okay. any Brian? Anyone okay. want to talk? Tiffy? I don't know. I'm also, stop looking. Mm, that's too bad. Oh. Oh. Yep. Okay. I was the investigator. I just wanted the cannibal to tell me that. Yeah, uh, didn't get a chance. I died first. Sounds right. All right. Thanks. All right. Oh, yeah. But I have not yet used mine. Are you the professor? Maybe. So it's the Shabaloth game. Is that what you're telling? This is this is crucial to know. If it's, it's if it's, it's. I mean, it has to be because I did not. Why would I resurrect Colson? That was the weirdest choice. Yeah, great. So Colson. So it's just a Shabaloth game. It must be. Yeah. Grand. Unless there's an evil aligned, unless you're an evil aligned professor who's just lying, which would be weird and not possible in the script. Yeah, I was like, is there some way I could be evil? But no. No. Um, no bounty hunter. Cool. So um, my info is that um, what, what, there's an evil between Fredo and Coulson. Or Mario is lying. Which one of the two? Or Mario is lying? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, I um, believe that Mario is telling the truth because Kai is reading very evil to me. She claimed she came wait, to me first conversation. Fredo and Coulson were your. No, Fredo and Kai. Fredo and Kai. Okay, you said Coulson, and I was like. Oh, doesn't... I might have said Coulson. Too. Okay. Um, um. Yeah, Kai came to me to Sarah Novus. Yeah. I. Mm, I don't know about all that. All I know is. Hottie actress, hottie country bumpkin. What up? Okay. I take your meaning, Fredo. <laughs> All right. Later. Thank you. I've never played before, so I'm just like, okay, let me just slow down a little bit. And you just got to get your brain on straight. It happens. Yes. Like, just because stream is there, we've all made stupid mistakes with stream there also. So like, that's not a you thing. 
Okay. And you haven't done anything stupid yet, so. Okay. It's like a rite of passage. All right. I guess that's why I'm getting nominated every night. <laughs> it's a rite of passage. They're like, okay. Probably. You're on stream. We're going to nominate Ty. <laughs> Hi. Um, do you want to give me some twos, some threes, a hard claim? I'll give what do you, you... Do? so I, I've told, um, a couple of people, I believe that my, my role, so I'm going to hard claim to you. I'm the fisherman okay. and the advice that I got was basically that one of the moderate find out which moderator is telling the truth. And I was work and believe it or not, I was workshopping it with Tiffy to try to make sense of it. And I got it from Mario and she was like, well, it sounds like Mario's telling the truth. I'm like, okay. And then she was okay with me. And then Jonah nominates me. So I'm just like, okay. So wait, so what was the advice? The advice was to find out which storyteller is telling the truth. That, oh, that, find out which storyteller. I asked Mario, I picked Kai and Fredo, and got a no. Okay. Well, I've got claims from both of them, um, sort of. Mm -hmm. Fredo don't want Hello. I don't know. We were sitting in town square, so I thought I'd say hi. What are you doing? Roman cars. Talking heads? Oh, what? I, I didn't recognize it. Oh, that's because your character wouldn't really like talking heads, would it? Liar, liar. Even, your, even your game bluff. It's a Fredo, lie. I'm guessing that this aggressive tone means that you don't want to tell me anything else. I don't know. What, do you, what would you like to know? I don't know. What, what do you want to do? Last time I chose. What do you want to do this time? Oh, we can hard claim. What do you got? I do not want to do that. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I want to do. And you said we played your game last time, and now you don't want, we can play my game this time. And my game is let's do hard claims, and, and you say no. Okay, so let's let's see what your hard claim is and then I'll tell you how I feel about it. How about that? Oh, how you feel? Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. I am the hmm, I'm wow. I'm a professor, but maybe just maybe I have a little sousson of imp in me. But mainly you're, mainly professor. You're full of shit, Fredo. Um, well, my eyes are brown, and so is my hair. I'm leaving this chat, because I want to talk You to give someone. me nothing. Joan, I need to talk to you tomorrow. Wow. You got something. Uh, yeah, we probably do. No, I got nothing, and I guess nothing is something. I don't have you on my grim yet. Welcome I know, back. That's my problem. Yeah, that's of something is something I get. Yes. Savant stuff. Just getting savant stuff. Okay. Uh, so either this one person is evil or this other person is good. It's that or that. Game solving. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Pretend that you are dead. Welcome back to town, everyone. I will leave just a pause here for a moment before I open nominations. I really wanted to talk to you. Be, I I'm think it's Richard. Oh, yes, thank Richard. you. Uh, I would like to juggle. <laughs> there, there's no juggler on the script. I mean, I can try to slayer shoot. Can I slayer shoot, Steve? I would like to slayer shoot. Dead players okay. cannot slayer shoot, sorry. Oh, are we, are we, <laughs> you guys, are we nom? Are we noming now? Or is you that guys not my yet. information? Uh, yeah, okay. I, I have starting info twice. So, uh, night one, I was told that either McKay or Ash was the Sarah Novus by Mario. Uh, and just last night, I was told that either um, Mark or Richard is the Scarlet Woman by Steve. I... Wait, so that was McKay or I Ash is thought... Sarah Novus? Yeah, so if Mario is telling the truth, then McKay is the Sarah Novus. 
because Ash died to Saranova's madness. Um, yeah. But you were the mutant, or I Ash thought. Is... No, I was not the mutant. I wanted I mean, to die, Ash, but I wanted the cannibal Ash to come tell me what I was. Saranovas who cursed herself. And I'm going to be real to you. That seems like the sort of thing Ash would do. That is absolutely 100% of the, the thing that Ash would do. It's I've awesome already worked. I would, would do in a state of. I've worked with Kay as a Saranovas. Well. Colson, can you do me a favor? It's not what I need. <laughs> can you put your info in chat? Yes. I only make myself mad at the Saranovas. Nominations I... are now open. Not at the start. I am strongly leaning to Richard. Um, Fredo would like to nominate Fredo. Fredo nominates right. Fredo. Tell us why. Uh, that roll. I'm done. Please stick a fork in me. Absolutely not. Spent roll. Absolutely Fredo, not. This your is, defense. We are way too late in the Fredo, game. What? I want to take um, it over for Fredo. Please don't do this. I am pro killing. I am part of this town. I love this town. I grew up here, and I want to have grandchildren here one day, in a future <laughs> grandmother role. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it'll take four votes to a Fredo. I'd on the like block. to add something to Fredo's. Um, it is way too late in the game. Like first day or two, yeah, it's okay to kill people who are okay with being killed. Uh, but yeah. no, I if Fredo's good, Fredo's coming yeah. off as good. Two is not enough. Fredo is not on the block. Um, just to get it over with, Mark nominates Kai. Sorry, Kai. Mark nominates Kai. Tell us why. Uh, I heard information that put her in evil ping, so I'm just going to see. Okay. Uh, evil ping. Okay. Um, so I'm the fisherman. I was trying not to share that with too many people because I was still trying to figure out what Mario told me. Um, he told me to find out which storyteller is telling the truth. So I'm listening to everybody when they're telling me what they have spoken to different people. I think I know which one it is. I'm not quite, I, I, I'm just asking not to kill me. But I am, but I am but let me finish, but I am a spent role. All right, it'll take four votes to put Kai on the block. Tiffy, ghost vote. I know. I'm trying to thank you. I really don't like so, that Ash purposely broke madness on order to save Kai yesterday. I don't know. I, I didn't think Ash broke madness, madness before, before, enough. We, before we vote, before we even nominated Kai. Yep. I think Kai's info, if Kai's telling the truth, Mario has to be telling the truth because that's all, that's not advice. Very that's true. just patently true. Like, there's no false about that. Um, can we get a storyteller console? Sure. Mechanics? I don't mean, oh my god, how's that going to work in this? <laughs> You're going to have to pick a storyteller. No, uh, we cannot lie about anything mechanical. Oh, okay, thank goodness. I was like, I don't know, am I going to get yeah. what am I We will answer this to the best of our ability as truthful. Um, so if I break madness, then I die, and I can still claim klutz. Um, if you break madness we have the option to execute you and then that would still trigger klutz yeah but don't claim i just want mm, because then i'd be claiming klutz and i just wonder if i would get executed uh, you yeah. don't get double executed because if you break madness and you still get executed uh, you would still claim klutz and we can't okay. like double execute you because you've already been executed you yeah, that's what I was like checking. Like, it would be like the next day instance of me breaking madness if I were to do it. Then that would be okay. All right, cool. Correct. Thanks. Perfect. No, I don't think they can switch. One, All right. That'd be way too confusing. Three. Um, yep, that's right. I heard someone ask, but no. The, once, once Mario and I cannot switch from day to day. It's the whole game. One cannot lie. One cannot tell the truth. I mean, no, one, one I said, cannot lie. One spent. can only tell the truth. That's right. I was spent. Any other nominations? I'm done with this town. I'm the klutz. Bring it. <clears throat> I ain't no professor. I never been on no island. I never took a three-hour tour. <laughs> Are you Gilligan? 
I ain't afraid to be alone. I'll bring the day to a close in three, two, one. I was Sarah Nova's mad. Fredo is executed and dies. Fredo is executed and dies? Okay. Madness break again. This is the second time Kai's been saved by madness break. I know. Yeah. I yeah, wait, what is happening? Wait, I was not the is one. Is Kai just the demon Kai. here? Let's make that wait, clear. What did, what did Fredo I just... was very prepared. Wow. Fredo broke madness. God damn it, McKay. That explains that. Is Steve frozen? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> this is genuinely the second time that Kai's been saved from death by a madness break. Yep. I I mean, I'm just as shocked as you. I I. Uh, I, get you get here. I waited a long time. He didn't. He didn't come. And I, if I waited any longer than it, then it. So Fredo, why did you not clutch picks if you died? Oh, we waited. Totally we waited. Clutch. You you claim clutch, and then we waited like 20 <laughs> seconds for your clutch. Pick. Honestly, could I have to pee really bad? Oh, that's the um, thing. I'm gonna come to it in the morning. Um. First thing when I wake up before I announce any deaths, I will have you pick. Oh okay. wait, I, I will leave so a pause for you to pick. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I was like, that's why I claimed clutch too. Like the whole thing. I know. Oh, I was God. waiting for it. Gotta go. I okay. still gotta go. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean the be the fa the f safest thing to do is to uh, not let him see the kills and then make him do the pick in the morning. So I'll leave a pause. Yeah, there. that's true. Um... I'm not sure about executing Fredo here, though, because... It is true. I, I do love that it keeps sewing. Like, everyone thinks Kai's just the demon now, right? Because we keep saving Kai. Oh, that's um, true. We, I and think I, we definitely have to resurrect someone now, though. Yeah, I think someone's getting resurrected, um, for sure. Uh, last night it was Jonah and Tiffy. So, yeah. we'll see who... Um, We'll see who Richard picks, and then we'll decide who gets resurrected. But I do agree; someone probably has got to get resurrected at this point because after the yeah after the execution for sure. But at the same time, town keeps just voluntarily breaking madness, and it's like if we don't execute, then yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Well, let's yeah. let's wait until we get there in the game state and see where we're at. There's a chance Mario just or sorry, Fredo just picks someone that's actually uh you know. Uh, e Evelyn ends the game. Uh, let me just check. Klutz says uh, a live player, so he's got to pick. Um, he can't pick anyone that's dead. Okay, interesting. So I mean, I guess that's a that's just worse for him than objectively for not picking. So yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, let's go see what McKay wants to do. Hello there, McKay. Hold on, I have to look at night order. Ah, okay. Oh, that is incredible. Okay. No, that's great. Okay. Shit. I thought I wasn't going to... Hold on. I need a minute because I thought I wasn't going to get a pick today because I told Richard to kill me. Um, Because I don't want to explain why I didn't resurrect Jonah. Um, I think I would like to make Mark... I would like to make Mark mad as the fisherman, please. Mad as the fisherman. Got yes, it. Yes, please. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Bye. So, yeah, that's interesting. If evil's considering killing themselves, that might change a lot of what we do here, right? Uh, if Richard kills my cave, we're going to revive Jonah for the memes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's super funny. I'm looking at the night order, right? Like the professor goes, yeah. So it, like yeah. that is pretty funny, though. Um, we'll do it for the news. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. yeah let's go see uh, what Richard wants to do. Uh, let's do Mark first. Oh right. Uh, one second, Richard. I'll be back. I came to you in the wrong order. Uh, Fredo's requesting a chat too, so I want to get him in here. Okay. Yes, Fredo. Okay, um, sorry about all that earlier. Um, just wanted to know, um, I can give you my pick now, and then I can say it when, when we wake up, or... Okay, uh, yeah, you can give it to me what you're going to say no, now. We, and then... uh, we, uh... Yeah, because he's not. he has to make his pick before we announce any deaths in the night anyways, right? So... Oh, because it's a live player? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, so you can pick um, now, because it should have happened at the end of the last thing, so we'll, we'll treat it as the state at the end of the day. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then I, I will leave pause before I announce anyone alive or dead, and you can make your choice to publicly okay. do. Okay. Oh, cool. I'm um, picking Mark. 
Mark it is. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. Well, that's not going to end the game. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's go to Mark. Then. Good call on uh, the madness. I would have forgotten later in the night. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there, Mark. Well, they, they, finally, they got, finally got a kill? Sort of. Uh, you have been chosen by the Saranovis. You are mad oh, that you are the fisherman. Okay. I was hoping they killed me instead. Sorry. Okay, have got fun, it. Have fun. Well, now, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know that we haven't gone to the demon yet. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to Richard. All right, we got everything in order. Now we're ready for your picks, Richard. Oh, I can't frame Fredo yet, and I think it's. It's too much for the good team to keep bringing back good players. Um, I'll do McKay and Becca. McKay and Becca. Got it. All right. Thank you. Uh, so Becca is... dying, McKay dying. So Mark. some someone definitely has to come back, right? Yeah, because we'll be on four and they have well, if they go to, if you go to five, then they get um, they still only get one execution if so they yeah, assume that there's two players alive. So yeah, if we if we don't resurrect someone, they go to four, and then that kind of puts them in a position where they kind of have to execute that day. Yeah, so I mean, it doesn't really do much other than give more information to the good team, I guess. If we bring back a good player. Then that puts us to five, right? And then two, and then somebody dies, we go down to four. Um, I feel like if we're at five, they might not execute. Wait. Because um, if they five, they go down to four, and then two two kills brings it to two, it could theoretically end the game. But yeah. realistically, we wouldn't do that. So. I think the real, I think it's more just whether or not we want to give Jonah or Tiffy more information at this point, other than. Because I think the yeah. game's ending soon anyways. Yeah. If we resurrect someone tonight, we'll pretty much have to resurrect someone tomorrow night. Because um, otherwise, I feel like if we resurrect someone tonight... Uh, I feel like if we resurrect someone, we're just going to be withdrawing the game out. It's not really going to help them anymore, right? We've already done one, which is like the status quo. Especially yeah. in a game of 11 players. So I think this is okay to just leave it. Yeah, let's leave it. Um, so, um, no other information. It's worth yeah, noting Mark it. is not actually Sarah Matt anymore, but he yeah. won't know that. All right. There's no Perfect. one got information from us today, unfortunate. Yeah, they got a lot. I think they, you know. Uh, no, Mike in chat, uh, we don't tell him. So, he's told when he's picked, but he wouldn't know that the Saranovas died. So, we don't go tell him he's out of madness because he was picked legit at the time. He's not aware the effects wear off, though. Yeah. Perfect. Let's. Uh... Like, uh, so basically, Mark can't get executed for breaking madness. Exactly. Unlike everyone else. <laughs> um, weirdly sure. enough, though, giving no information. Yeah, let's just do it. We, we made our decision. We're yeah. sticking with it. No one yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this makes sense. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's wake him up. Awesome. Wait, why were you at a car show? Oh, they're back. Never mind. Good morning, town. Becca is hey. found dead in a corner of the maze all by her lonesome. And on the opposite side, so is McKay. I'll hey. give you guys four minutes. Great. Anybody come back to life? So I was a klutz, and I picked Mark. But I also had to go to the bathroom real quick, so that's why I missed it. Oh, I forgot to leave the pause. Uh, Fredo publicly claims Klutz and picks Mark, and the game goes on. Klutz picks don't work with your minion. So. <laughs> well, the good thing is there's four alive, which means that... You before you were the Klutz. I was never the Klutz. I never claimed Klutz. Fredo just passed it to you. No, that's how it works. Fredo has to pick someone. Right. If they pick someone and I'm not good, then the game's over. Oh, okay. We lost. Oh, I, we I, I just four, but them. like, there's no way that they would just I kill two. And I, not did we just reset? Everyone and got yeah. disconnected. Yeah. Okay. 
It's got you. It does that sometimes. I was in the middle of a conversation with Kai, and then it got reset. Yeah. Mark, same. wanna chat? Yeah. Ah. If there was... Yeah. I was the professor. Did you use it? I was gonna use it last night. Okay. Because I was gonna bring Jonah back to see what if he got the same info again. Okay. See ya. I'm the seamstress. Kai okay. is so definitely evil. It's it's not even funny. Um, oh, I believe that a hundred percent. Um, two Manda saves is too much. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. Plus, my scenes just info. I picked Mario. I I picked Kai and Fredo. I got to no. know if we're believing Kai. If we're believing Mario is telling the truth, then Kai's evil. Um, and you got to know. Hold on. What night did you ask? Uh, night two. Night two. Oh. Hold on. Where's my all right, so Jonah, night two, picked Mario. Yeah. Okay. I was the mathematician. I'm trying to figure out who picked who what Ooh, night. Oh, very nice. Um, that's very good to know. All right. Um, what did you get on night two? On night two, I got a zero from Mario. You got a zero from Mario. Interesting. Did anyone pick Steve night one? Um, night one, I picked Steve, and night one, um, if oh wait, sorry, Mar you got a zero from Steve. No, so you got a zero from Mario night two, right? I see. Yes. Um, night one, I know of myself who picked Steve, and at l possibly one other people. I need a hard claim from Mark to know for sure, but I think two people might have picked Steve on night one, and I got a one from Steve, so. I think Mark is the savant, so I don't think Mark would have gotten any information at night, so it wouldn't have affected your math number. Right, that makes sense. It seems like I'm Mario. Thinking, yeah, I'm thinking it's Mario too, but I want to talk to a couple more people. I don't want to waste it. All right. Okay. Sounds good. You wrote Magnus, and now I know. The bathroom was calling. I understand <laughs> completely. Calling. And the joke was present. Like, I couldn't help it. You were on the block, and I'm like, yeah, let's break it. <laughs> love the bits. I really do, Steve. I really love the bits in this group. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Wait, wait. I know he doesn't know what I'm talking about. That's why I was said that, so I could get his reaction. Wait wait till I get McKay and... McKay and Ash for Sarah Novus, or you and Mark for Scarlet Woman. Mm, and obviously one of those is false, because I asked two different storytellers. Yeah, yeah. And Mario was the one. Mario seems... told me that McKay is the Saranovas, basically, okay. since it doesn't seem like it was Ash. The, the consensus seems to be that Mario is the one telling the truth. Yeah. So. I believe it's Mario. Fredo, want to chat? Uh, Never mind. No. In public with everyone okay. else. <laughs> so. Tiffy. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off like that. No, but yeah, yeah, yeah. we got it. It was a gong. So. <laughs> All right, welcome back to town. I will leave a quick pause here in case anyone would like to do anything. I like the Philo gossip. I mean, Slayer, I think, is the only do we thing. Think I'm it's, do we think uh, it's Shabbat? Do we think it's Shabbat? Because if it is, this could. Can I Slayer shoot? Do we think it's Shabbat? Hey, guys, can I speak really quick? It's if it's, it's Shabalot, then we, this could be the last chance because they could kill two tonight. I mm -hmm. think so. But the storytellers would probably trust. resurrect somebody in that circumstance. We shouldn't, All right. we, we shouldn't trust on that because they'll do it to spite us. Nominations are open. Do you not want to share info? Because I know literally nothing. I'm the fisherman, but I, I would like to, to share some it. info. There's a double claim. I would love fisherman. for you to share info. <laughs> Wait, who's the double claim, Richard? Uh, between Mark and Kai. Really? That's interesting. Uh, Mark was the double claim I had from between him and you, Richard. Well, what is Mark claiming? Fisherman. I'm the I'm the fisherman. Oh. Okay, what was the info you were yeah, getting? What did you get? I haven't used it yet. I was going to talk to the storytellers, but I hadn't had a chance to use it. But yep. it looks like I will try and use it. Okay, Kai, what are you? Fisherman. Great, cool. 
funnier bit, I'm pretty sure Richard's the one that's mad. I have no um, idea who Richard is, so I'm not going to ask him. <laughs> I've, I've gotten a different horror uh, claim before, which is so changing like that. It's suspicious, but you know. Or Mark kind of red man there. Let's see Clint Fisherman before today. Well, Ash, yeah, why don't you tell me what Richard has hard claimed to you? Uh, that Richard, way Richard doesn't Richard has hard claimed Tom Cryer to me before. Okay, that's what I thought. Yes. I'm 100% the professor. Okay. So, we have two potential mad people. Second okay. call for nominations. Okay, I'm gonna. If, if this is the last day, then Richard can break madness. Kai nominates Mark. Tell us why. Why are we voting? Did someone nominate? No, we can't. Here? I nominated you. Okay, I'm gonna because refresh. We, because we are in a double claim, and I'm the only fisherman here. Give Mark a second to reconnect. I don't think he can hear you, Kai. So he, that's why he was confused. Okay. So I'm. Can you hear, Kai, can you hear yeah. Kai now, Mark? Say something, yes. Kai. So I nominate Mark because we're in a double claim. I am the only fisherman on in the group. I think he is mad. If I'm mad, you wouldn't want to execute me, and I'm the fisherman. Either mad or he's evil. Yeah, it's not a good kill. Mark, any other defense? I, I think I've been proven good. I think this is a, a bad kill. I'm the fisherman. I think this guy is just evil. The question is, though, whether she's a minion or the demon. Can we do a round robin? Please. Not in the middle of a nomination, but I will Can I ask offer Richard what, his, what his advice was. But Richard has I, am, I, I'm in a, I haven't got to use it yet. I have pertinent. Colson, um, why do you think I would be able to hypothetically break you madness? Can't, you can't. I, I was wrong about that. Never okay. mind. No, I was going to yeah. post it in chat. I don't have pertinent. No, no, no mad person should break nope. it. Unless they're specifically evil, and it won't matter. So, <laughs> All right. With four alive, it'll take two to put Mark on the block. I really hope this wasn't wasting your one chance to actually get the Stroll Demon, but I don't have any, any info to go off of. Don't worry too much. I don't think Ash. Okay. So I, I have nothing. One is not I enough. I think Mark at best, is prob Mark's probably a minion. If you believe Fredo... Then he's proven me good. I don't believe well, we Fredo. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Also, I, I have a ping on Fredo and Kai being on different teams from another player. So, if Which if we believe that Mario, round robin, yeah, round robin, yes. please. Do I hear a second for a round robin? I just seconded sure. it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's start at the top of the grim before, and work away. Before the round robin, can I talk to Mario first before the round robin? It's a good idea. Sure. sure. I'm going to tag along just for stream purposes. <laughs> hey, since uh, I'm a fisherman and I have to play the fisherman, I would have to ask a question for the round robin. I've been playing. Right. I haven't used it because uh, I was trying to figure out which is, which is the right storyteller. So I'm using my fisherman power now. All right. You're you nothing, anything, say... anything. Nothing, nothing, anything. Anything, anything, yeah. anything. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Dang. Let people talk. All right, round robin engaged. Start at the top of the grim, McKay. Um, yeah, I was the professor, and I was going to use it last night to resurrect Jonah, but died before I could. Right. Cannibal. Jonah. I'm the seamstress night two. I asked Mario whether uh, Kai and Fredo were on the same team, and I received a no. This is why I've been pushing on Kai for most of the game. Tiffy? Um, I am the fortune teller. I have chosen to talk to Mario both nights. First night I chose Bryant and McKay, got a no. Second night I chose Becca and Mark, and I got a no. Fredo? Um, I am either the klutz or the witch who never got a kill. Colson. Wait, you're claiming both now in the round robin? I'm, I'm saying either or. I was the investigator. I already said either Ash or McKay was the Serenovis or Richard or Mark is the Scarlet Woman. Mario's the one that told me about the Serenovis. Ash? I was your monk. I was mad the first two days as the politician and then broke it. And I was probably going to be dead on the block anyway, so. Kai? I was the fisherman. I spoke to Mario. 
he said, try to find a storyteller that is telling the truth, which I believe is Mario. Richard? I'm your professor. I've always been your professor. I don't know why McKay's double claiming me. Mark? Uh, I am the fisherman. I just asked Mario, and he said to look between Richard and Colson. Becca? I am your mathematician. I got a one night one from Steve, a zero night two from Mario, and a one night three from Mario. That's our round robin. Second call for nominations, maybe third call. Well, on night three, I spoke to Steve. Did anyone else speak to Steve on night three? No. I, I'm going to nominate. Um, I'm going to nominate Richard. Mark nominates Richard. Tell us why. I just think that uh, he's faking madness. I just think that he's the demon. Richard? Uh, I'm the professor. I don't know what else to tell you. So I have a feeling like I know who the demon is with, and I think it's Kai and Mark is the minion. There is a mutant this is on the script as well. All right. Two votes needed to put Richard on the block. We need at least four or evil can override them. I don't like any of these options. I feel yeah, like I don't either. This is our last, this is this our last night. This is our last night. It's Shab. This is our last night. I, I don't think it is. Unless I think I think the SP is all resurrect. Yeah. Two is enough. Richard is on the block. Jonah has ghost hooded. I do assume the Saranovis is dead, so I am a little confused about this. But uh, Why would you yeah. assume the Saranovis is dead? I... Well, if there yeah. is a Saranovis, presumably it was Ash. So, okay. so. so Colson, if McKay no. was a Saranovis... McKay made the pick before dying. So, so true. maybe that nobody is Sarah Mad but thinks they are. That is true. But at the same time, why would a Shab choose to kill their own minion if they could just keep them alive anyway? Final call for nominations. So that if we don't kill, McKay gets resurrected. Do we want to put this on a dead body instead? Nope. I will bring this day to I mean, Colson will nominate Kai. I think we need to reverse Sarah for Colson nominates better. Kai. Tell us why. Uh, Kai's been on the block twice and uh, both times been removed by the storytellers for madness breaks, one of which was an intentional madness break. So I just think it's Kai. We could just go ahead with this now and not have to rely on the storytellers resurrecting at some point. So. Kai? I think I ran out of defense at this point. <laughs> so um, I am a fisherman. I am a spent role. So if you feel this is a good move, then go right ahead. All right. Two votes will tie. Three needed to put Kai on the block. I still don't know how I feel about this. I definitely know how I feel about it. But, but no dead votes, which... Three is enough. Kai is on the block. I think there's only one possible nominator, which is Richard, and can nominate Colson as the only option. I think it's Kai. So, <laughs> since Kai's on the block, I'm actually the Raven Keeper. Please don't execute right. me. I will bring this day to a close in three, two, one. Unless someone wants to break madness again. <laughs> Kai Bye. is executed and dies, and congratulations, we go to the night phase. Uh, I'm just going to pull Richard in. This game's taking a hot bit. It's over, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just in case. And... Oh, make your two picks, please. Oh, okay, I think I have to... Oh, it doesn't happen until after the day after, so I couldn't even resurrect, huh? Kai, I forgot about that. If so someone if I get resurrects executed tomorrow, if someone resurrects tonight, it'll be one of the two people you killed last night. Yeah, yeah. Shit. All right. Um, I made a mistake on that. I shouldn't have voted. Oh well. Uh, 
I, I mean, I have to kill Mark and Colson, right? That, oh, that's the only thing that makes sense. In so that order. Gonna, wait. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. A lot of pressure here. There's three players alive right now. Huh? This is a reminder there's three players alive right now. I know. So, oh, even if you resurrect that is correct. one good player. Come on, Mario. I liked watching right? him sweat a little bit. I, I felt right. bad because he's been evil so much. And, like, the ants, and, you know. All right. I, I, well, Colson, then Mark. Colson, and then so Mark. Mark. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, and there's bad, no point, you know, because he's he's evil so much. <laughs> Do we go wake Mark and just just uh, for no. it, or just end the game? Uh, I gotta, I want to have a second game. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. That leaves me to believe. Good morning, town. Mark is dead. Colson's dead. McKay is back alive. The game is over. Congratulations. Wow, I thought. Goes to. The evil. I mean, yeah. yes, there's yeah. some people I probably should have visited last night, but the game was over, and I didn't want to draw it out too much. Evil has won. That is because Richard is your starting Shabaloth, and McKay is <sighs> your Sarah starting Sarah Novus. Yep. God, nailed me, and yet somehow people still believed me. Incredible. Uh, McKay had picked day one and two. Ash, your monk, to be Sarah and Mad about being the politician. Uh, Ash broke madness near the end of the day, which I used to uh, execute Ash, saving Kai the Scarlet Woman. Uh, the next day, it was Fredo who broke madness. Fredo was mad about being the professor. And okay. at the end of the day, decided to say that he was actually the klutz and then was executed and f didn't publicly. Yeah, why did pick. you do that, Fredo? That kind yeah. of threw us off. But let me get through this first. But he did come. We did get his pick before he knew who who chose to live and die at the night. So he picked Mark. Mark was your Raven Keeper, who wow. tried so hard to die the whole game and made it all the way to the end. Um, that leaves Becca, your mathematician, who only got false information when they talked to the the lying storyteller, which I think everyone has figured out who the lying storyteller is by this point. Not you. It yeah, it's me. It I was the liar, and Mario was your truth teller the entire time. So when Becca came to me, it was a false one because uh, everyone got everyone else got info from Mario. So uh, yeah, just Brian. Some, uh, sorry, yeah. just some quick stats while we're still talking about that. I was um, picked for information five times. Steve was picked two times. <laughs> hey, winning. Uh, <laughs> Bryant, your I... cannibal, who almost got to get information from Colson, the investigator. Unfortunately, Bryant was killed by the demon that night. Jonah, the seamstress, who learned that from Mario that Fredo and Kai were on the wrong team, or on opposite teams, which is true. And Tiffy, your fortune teller, who got two no's in a row, and I think that pretty much confirmed Mario as the truth teller because it would be pretty hard to get two no's uh, to, the, to the person that lies. So I think that was a smart choice, sticking with Mario twice. Yeah, I thought it was Kai or Richard, but I couldn't get the town vote, so I figured... Someone had better information, so I voted for Kai. So, just I was mad to be the fisherman. I was never the fisherman, but I figured. I... Wait, I, and that's I'm, what not I figured I'm not Sarah Mad right, anymore. I, I believe Jonah was trying to say info? something. Sorry. Um, in th that first day, um, how did Becca receive a one if no one picked Evil Steve? Becca picked Evil Steve because I got info from Steve, and Steve was lying. Yeah, but that then that is true because. You picked Evil Steve. Oh, so we were talking about this. Yeah, it's a, it's like a Schrodinger's problem, right? Like if it's not false because at the time, it's not. It's not until after I give it. it, it it's this weird sort of like it's only, it's only if I. So basically, you can't say one because one is not true until you say it, and then it is, and then it's not again. It's, it's this weird infinite loop. Oh, there goes the chat server. So and at the easy. time. And reading what it said, the jinx between the mathematician, it says, if they choose a storyteller who cannot tell the truth, is no so they learn how many players receive false information for the 
it was a tough call. We made the, we made the choice and we stuck with it. Nobody asked us about it during the game, but we said if you, anyone asked, we would say. For... That's fair. We probably should have asked about yeah, it. Fredo, why, why, did you, why did you say you were clutch or witch? You could have confirmed me good. I mean, you had me doubting, you know, so that's why I wasn't sure about Kai because of you saying you're clutch or witch. Is so, uh, I mean, is he mad? You're mad. I knew Fredo. Richard wasn't Fredo, mad. You're Fredo, mad. You're, you're dead. Still muted somehow. Oh, that's just that's just the oh, chat. So we're going crazy tonight. Weird. Yeah, I don't know what's going on now. So, um, I said witch or klutz because some people thought I was still evil. So for the evil people, I gave them an evil name, and for the good people, I gave them a good name. Right, but that you could have said I'm klutz and I confirm Mark. I mean, uh, yeah, I All could right. have. That being said, we are going to try to set up for a second game. So if you are able to stick around in your seat, if you need to dip, feel free to leave. Um, which, and, which game? The same. same uh, script well, it's going to depend. Probably the same script. I know it was kind of long. Work. It's already nine, mm -hmm. so it's just about two hour game. But depending on who stays and goes, we might have to change I it. We might would like a different script. <laughs> I'm going to run. I think I would um, stick I've got around to work. for something shorter. But if it's going to be this again, I've got to go to bed. Okay, we will take a quick break, uh, stream wise, and then anyone that needs to leave, feel free to leave. Uh, and anyone that's going to stick, stick in your seat, we'll. It sounds like the general consensus is something else, uh, yeah. especially with um, everyone like the chats are going crazy. That's going to be uh, fun, but um, <laughs> yeah. So oh, did you get yeah. good chat feedback? No, the the actual the server the game is running on is keeps refreshing randomly. Yeah, just everyone keeps crashing, and refreshing. What are we yeah. in the west? Which server are we on? US We're on west. west. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's take a quick like two minute break to reset stretch legs go to the bathroom whatever and then we'll figure out in that time what we're going to play if not the other one if you want to play some, i mean it sounds like everyone's saying you want to play something different if you want to play something different raise your hand if you're interested in playing the same thing yeah okay i'd like to play something different but my hand's not going up i i don't care i don't really feel like i experienced that script personally neither do i <laughs> Sorry. my hand won't go up all right we'll be my back chat no
I'll do it back. All right, so I think this might act, uh, streams back on. By the way, I think this might be the first time we've played this on stream because the last time we played this, it was just a off-stream game, right? So, so this will be the first time it's being like shown off to the world, which is called One Two Three Not It, which is essentially playing hot potato with the demon roll. Uh, a couple of interesting rules here is that um, in addition to the demon, the snake charmer triggers on the lunatic as well, or a philosopher with the lunatic's power. Uh, when the snake charmer swaps roles, the new snake charmer is no, not drunk or poisoned, so snake charmers are always sober and healthy, so it can swap. They, they have a chance to swap in future nights. The snake charmers will be visited in any arbitrary order that the storyteller chooses, but each snake charmer will be visited once. I think that was the main core rules. I have a very specific question. Yes, I have uh, a very specific answer. If a lunatic just... gets Fangu jumped, they get informed that they are now the Fangu that night, right? They don't keep yes. thinking, okay, cool. <laughs> yes. The lunatic <laughs> will think that... how awful a Philo lunatic play actually is in practicality. <laughs> um, and there can be any number of snake charmers, oh, right? Th yeah, there can be, yeah, so you, there can be any number of snake charmers, not just one. So there can be multiple snake charmers in the bag, as many as I want. Also, you're not allowed to pick yourself as a snake charmer. Oh, God. You can pick the same person multiple times. You can take the same person multiple times. Yes. Cool. Uh, how are you? How are you running uh, Philo Lunatic? So like I said, uh, f anyone with the Lunatic's ability registers. So if you are the Philo, so if you're the Philo and you pick Lunatic, and then the the Snake Charmer picks you, they will. They we're gonna. Become a lunatic. We're gonna keep it as they think they're a Lunatic instead of a philosopher. Yeah. Thank you. Because that was That's Brian's request. That was a change. Yes, um, um, if the the uh, so if a Philo becomes a lunatic, also, I think the change is the original lunatic will not become drunk, but then the demon will be told that they have two lunatics. Oh gosh. Yeah, there's all kinds of craziness. The I'm idea is at the end of the game, him. either you want to have the demon or you don't. It's your choice, right? But if you don't want it, pick someone you don't think's demon. <laughs> It should go and fast. Stick with it. Tiffy? Mario, you should come down here and play with us. Uh, I'll pass. Thanks. Oh, Richard, why? do you have a question? Come on. You don't ever play with us. Uh, I'm Courtney 2.0. <laughs> All right. We're going to go set up the Grim. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. Let me get my... Also, All I right. Two outsiders is better than zero here. <laughs> it is. So one yeah. outsider is for sure the lunatic. Yep. Um, I think the other outsider is going to be the recluse, just because it swaps with the snake charmer and it gives the recluse a chance to change and be something else. Yeah. Um, uh, are we doing Fingu though? Oh, right, we're gonna do riot. Ooh, I've never done a riot game before, but I guess if they want to be fast, then yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Riot will definitely be fast, right? So uh, Riot is all minions are Riot. We have one minion and one demon, so it's just two Riots in the bag, right? The Lunatic uh, will also yeah. think they're Riot. Yeah. Um, okay. And then... So now um, the question, I guess the next question is, how many Snake Charmers do we put in the bag? So we have... One, one or two. Two Riots, a Lunatic, and a Recluse, you said? <laughs> yes. Uh, I guess it would have to be. A we could do one. Two. No one will believe it, but we could do one. <laughs> That's true. Everyone's gonna claim it anyways. Um, uh, we could do two. We could do a snake charmer and a philo, and they'll give the philo a chance to do something fun with it, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, um, but I, I mean, I'm up for two. If it's one or two, so if we do two and a. Philo that leaves us two other roles. So we need to give info roles for sure. So Dreamer yeah. has to be in there because that really helps nail down this game. Yeah. Um, and then probably Empath. You can also do Clockmaker because it's Riot. True. Oh, no, wait, no Riot, uh, Riot Clockmaker and two just means it counts the number of stats between the two Riots. Uh, that is correct. Okay. Or the Recluse is in the bag too, So the, or the Recluse. Oh, let's just do the recluse side, because I wanted to do that for the other second game. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're doing lunatic recluse as the outsider, right? 
Yeah, yeah. So I guess we could ping the the clockmaker off of the recluse if you wanted to. I don't know if that's too mean though. I don't know. I mean, I'm partial to empath, but clockmaker is also good. The, re- the so last time I felt bad on starting no rolls because they did a five day Leviathan game where they only started with information at the start. Uh, right. But this is a right game. It's going to be faster. So uh, I guess empath is fine then. If we're doing riot, we can we can do clockmaker instead of philosopher. Okay. So, be... so we'll do clockmaker, empath, dreamer, two snake charmers, a lunatic, a recluse, and two riots. Sounds good to me. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, pass them out. So Ash is a riot. Tiffy is the riot. Uh, uh, Colson is the empath between two riots. <laughs> Oh God! No, that's fine. This is a fun. No, no, this game is because the demon can change. So, Richard Snake Charmer, Becca the Snake Charmer, two Snake Charm choices plus. Um. Oh, actually, here's the interesting choice. Mark is actually the right, and either Ash or Tiffy is actually the lunatic. Let's make let's make Ash the lunatic or Tiffy. Uh. Well, we have to continue the the meme. So Ash. Yeah. Well, I mean, Ash has to be the demon at this point. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying meme, meme Ash to stay the demon? Okay. Right? <laughs> okay, so we'll make Tiffy the lunatic. Um, and Mark the riot. And then uh, there's really no other... There's really no other... Uh, setup info really for this so bluffs probably fortune teller do right gets bluffs that's actually a good thing i need to check they do do they get a shared set of bluffs or do they get individual bluffs uh yep from my understanding yes um Yeah, show each right character, each player, each right player three character bluffs. So we can show separate or same ones. Um, so Because it's the script, we should probably do the same ones. Yeah, that's fine with me. We can fortune teller, Philo, Washerwoman? Sound yeah, I think that's reasonable. Because everything else is slower. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Yeah. All right. We will tell Tiffy that one of her... So I think we tell Tiffy maybe... it's She only learns one other person. Yeah. So I think we show one of the actual demons, maybe? Oh, or we can show the recluse. Hmm. Uh, well, if we show one of the snake charmers, then, and eventually one of them will probably become the demon. <laughs> so you think we should tell Tiffy that one of the snake charmers is the 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 a fellow demon so then they go over there oh that'll be fun yes yeah. i like that <laughs> okay i'm going to do it to to richard cuz i think that's okay. hilarious okay awesome let's uh let's go put him to sleep all right everyone setup is complete go to sleep Okay, first up, our lunatic, who will learn some crazy bluffs. Um, I think we show... We just tell the lunatic it's a poppy girl game if we really want to. We could, but I, 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 like, tell, I like pointing him at a snake charmer. I think it's funny. Um, oh, that's true. Bluff-wise, uh, we'll do am- amnesiac. <laughs> uh, there's not a lot of good options left. Slayer. No, no, we can double up. We can go double up. That's fine. So I'll say Clockmaker, yeah. Amnesiac, and who do we want to frame? Dreamer. Uh, yeah. Hello there, Tiffy. Hello. You ever played Riot before? Um, once or twice. I've never been Riot, so I'm excited Ooh. to see how this is going to work. We'll see if you stay Riot for very long. Yep. Uh, I do get to know my fellow minion, right? Or my uh, unless, fellow it, unless there's a poppy grower in play. But there okay. is not. You learn that okay. Richard is your fellow, right? Okay. And your That's bluffs good. are going to be Dreamer. 
Amnesiac, and Fortune Teller. Okay, and I don't necessarily know if um, Richard's getting the same bluffs. We have the ability to give different bluffs or same bluffs, yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, let's get one of the real riots in here. Uh. Hello there, Ash. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I thought. But on this script, it might not stick around. You never know. Someone better snake charm me night one. They probably will, right? You've got to be the first they pick. Better. They better. But I can't say anything until night. You didn't specify, but I think everyone, everyone in town said that um, if you do become the snake charmer after becoming snake charmed, you are not poisoned and will have to continue to pick. Correct? That is correct. The, the okay. snake charmer stays. The new snake charmer stays healthy in, in future nights. Yes. So I have to basically keep quiet for one day if I manage to snake charm, just so I can find the one person I can pick, <laughs> which I'm going to hate so much. <laughs> so if there's no poppy girl in play, I get to tell you your fellow baddie. I mean, like, I'd like there to not be a poppy girl in play in case I get stuck with this. There is not. Like, your fellow riot is Mark. Okay. So Mark. And your bluffs are fortune teller. Fortune. Philosopher, no. washerwoman. Is there more? <laughs> oh, there's Just... a lunatic. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> Tiffy is your lunatic. Wonderful. Cool. Cool. Have fun. That's a lot of day one info. I That's really a lot of day one I don't info. have to keep track of this for much longer. <laughs> Good luck. See ya. All right, Mark's turn. Hey there, Mark. Hey, so am I the riot or the, or the Al Qaeda? I'm guessing. So you are the riot. Okay. Your fellow riot is Ash. Okay. Tiffy is your lunatic. Tiffy is my lunatic. Okay. And your bluffs are fortune teller, philosopher, washerwoman. Okay. Cool. Have fun. All right. Now the madness starts. Let's snake charm. We'll go to Becca first. Oh boy. Uh. Oh yeah. Sorry, I wasn't sure if it went before the other rolls. Sorry, Hello. I'm getting attacked. <laughs> attacked by the cat. Yes. All right, Becca. Please choose a player that's not yourself. Uh. Let's get it out of the way. Let's choose Ash. All right, Becca, you choose Ash. You are now the demon. You are the riot. You are evil. Are you serious? I am. Oh. <laughs> Why Have did fun. I do that to myself? Cool. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. All right, one for one. Let's it go works. tell Ash. <laughs> it works. It works. <laughs> Ash is going to love it. Pick up Ash, pick up. Would Ash pick again or no? No, that, that snake charmer's been spent for the night. Yeah. Thank God. Hey, Ash, <laughs> you are now the snake charmer. You are good. Great, thanks. Have fun. <laughs> this is going to be so much chaos. Uh, oh, let's, go see. let's go see what Richard wants to do. Hello, Richard. Hello. Please pick. Thank you for saving me from that conversation. I don't um, know what's going on. I haven't heard it. You don't want to know. Please pick a player that is not yourself. I got to pick Ash. Uh, okay. You pick Ash. Go to sleep. Thank you. <laughs> oh, they didn't know. <laughs> they knew. How did they know? Uh, All right. So Colson at this point will get a zero instead of the two we thought he was going to be getting at the start of the day. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Let's go to Colson. Hey there. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, you chat that. reset right as I accepted that. Makes sense. Uh, so, Colson, you are here to get a zero. 
Yay, that's wonderful news. Thank you. Have fun with that. Thanks. Cool. Uh, this kind of has to be Clockmaker 4. You can't say 1. Well, it could say 1, I guess, because it'll just change. But... Let's see. So, yeah. So, what is... So, the, yeah, it's a 1 there, and then the... Four. The recluse. It has, it has to be a 1. There's no... We can't lie, right? Yeah. Is it 4? Uh, how could it be a 4? Recluse? Oh, does it not say... It doesn't have to be... How many steps from the demon to its nearest minion? Well, it has to be one. The nearest is right next to it, right? Well, the riot registers as a minion to the clockmaker. And then you can just register that recluse as a demon. I see. I'm going to go with a one anyways. I'm going to tell them the truth. I don't think it's going to blow the game too far open. Yeah, just because it's... I think normally... You normally would you would want to, yeah. <laughs> but in this case, we're, we're free to tell them the truth. Yeah. It'll help them. If he only gets one bit of information the whole game. Let's make it true. That's true, yeah. Hey, Bryant. Thank you for saving me from that hell that they were had going on. That's what everyone keeps saying. What's going on out there? <laughs> Currently, they are talking about uh, the fact that Ash doesn't know any of the sexual innuendo terms that we all learn in middle school. Oh, it's very stream friendly. Fun. Yeah. Demonetized instantly. I won't list them, but. <laughs> Well, Bryant, how? What number? If you could pick a number, what number would you pick? I'll either take two clockmakers or one cup. <laughs> I'll give you a one cup. You get a one. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And McKay gets to dream a little dream. So more than likely, I will show Riot or whatever they really are. But it's if they German, are, yeah. But if they are something, if they pick riot, I will say riot and one of the bluffs, probably like something, yeah. Like okay. Snake charmer at this point, everyone's gonna say. Uh, that. Or snake charmer, yeah. They can do snake charmer. That's probably true. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi, McKay. I heard we're miss. I hear we're missing some interesting chat out there. Yeah. Some. Yeah. No. No. We're just talking about about scad and cups. Yeah. Demonetize. Right. We're demonetized <laughs> now. Uh, McKay, please dream a little dream about a player. Richard, please. All right. You dream Richard, and you learn that Richard is either the snake charmer or the riot. Good times. So that was a bad choice. Thanks for telling me that was a bad choice, Steve. Thanks for, You're... like, really ruthlessly telling me that was a bad choice. You're welcome, McKay. Have fun with that. Okay. Well, at least she's the first person to know it's a riot game. That is true. I don't. Yeah, they uh, they don't know that at this point. They're the, well, oh, yeah. other than the other than the two riots and then the snake charmer that became the riot and the lunatic. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Half the town knows it's riot. Now. I think I think the they're interesting, <laughs> but but I think maybe next couple of times where we have to do something that's not snake charmer riot. But I don't know. It's just kind of the funny thing at this point. We have to at this point. Plus, you know, I. If I say any other evil person, it confirms that Richard is definitely, you know, the snake charmer as soon as it comes out of this riot, right? That's so true. we're more yeah, limited in a riot that. game. Yeah. Okay, okay. Got it. let's okay. make him up. But I liked to, like, do decorations. Oh. Woo. Good morning, everyone. Um, we're, we're going for a quickish game. We only got, what, eight, nine, pe nine people. So I'll give you guys five minutes on the first day. Good luck. Oh, uh, if there was a Leviathan, I'd have to tell you here, but there's not, so I don't. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna refresh. I can't pick anybody. <laughs> lying. Why? Why do you think I'm lying? I just know you're lying. I know you're not the empath, my friend. Mm. Okay. Good. 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 Uh, you want to do twos? Yeah, I can do two. I'm either a snake charmer or the poppy grower. Cool. Very cool. Um, I am either the innkeeper or the uh, snake charmer. Okay. One of the snake charmer. Innkeeper or snake charmer? Yep. Not a fellow poppy grower? Not a fellow poppy grower. All right. Uh, neither am I the poppy grower. 
Now you're you're gone. Uh, chat okay. chat server keeps dying. <laughs> I, I think the chat server just keeps hating us tonight. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and Richard mm -hmm. told me lots of lies. This, what do you got? Oh, I'm Philo. I wanted to see if you had a role that didn't. Yeah. I haven't used it yet, but I'm debating what to. I don't know what's a good thing to file into the skin. That's why I didn't pick anything. Snake charm or what else? No, I, I don't know. There's there's gonna be plenty of those. I, I, maybe dreamer. I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know. But I, I, I don't know. This is like the Slayer game, but with snake charmer. Yeah, but I'm sure there's already like four snake charmers filing into the snake charmer would just kind of be redundant, wouldn't it be? <laughs> I, I don't know. Again, I. You know what's better than than one snake charmer? Two. Uh, you what's better than two? Me. Three. Yeah. What's better than three? So. I'm still not an outsider. No. Yeah. You just have the ability. Okay. Um, for benefit of chat, I'll just tell you, I'm the tea lady, so we should test you today. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. See ya. See ya. I just might kill him. <laughs> nice. Uh, what? So if a, if a riot targets a tea lady protected person, they don't die, and then you just run a vote like normal? I guess so. Steve, can we talk? I have a question about game rules. Sure. So if I was a Philo and the Philo did the Snake Charmer, would I drunk one of the Snake Charmers? No, because the Snake Charmers are always sober and healthy in this game. Okay, I was I brought that I'm bluffing as Philo. I brought that up to Fredo, and I figured if I was Philo Snake Charmer, I would uh, find it out with you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I think just because of how we said, like the the Snake Charmer is always sober and healthy. That way, they can you know do in future nights. I, I don't think I would drunk one of the. I, I considered it, but I think at this point, I'm in the playtest where I keep everyone healthy. Okay, makes sense. Just makes to more fun out. in chaos. Yeah, yep. for sure. Mm -hmm. Olson, Tiffy, either of you, anybody? Sure. <gasps> Mikhail, do you ready for Colson? Sure. Okay, Brian, let's lie. <laughs> I think you would be there. Wait for the next call. <laughs> yeah, you 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 got the setup right there. You're right there. You're taking calls. You're you're helping people out. I mean, okay. To be fair, I do. Yeah, yeah. I do have three cell phones. That, 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 okay, so Steve, the the joke is, um, uh, every time I look at Becca and when she's set up in her office like that, I feel like she's a, a, a radio caller or like like a radio talk show host. <laughs> and she's just taking calls, and her engineer is right behind the window, like tapping on it, going like "too long, too long," or wrap it up, wrap it up, up. wrap it up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. nice. And, and like, oh yeah, oh yeah, nice. And she's there, she's taking calls. She's like, "Oh, thanks for calling." I'm gonna go. Wake, I'm gonna go bring everyone back to town. Very silly. This game yeah. is ridiculously silly. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I will leave a pause here if anyone would like to slay or shoot. Uh, I'll just assume if your hands up or your crossbows up, you want to do it. So, Ash. Oh no! Sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffy. Uh, Tiffy claims fortune teller and chucks a uh, a crystal ball at Fredo's face. Um, Slayer shot not registered. Richard? Oh, that's that's been up from the beginning of the game. <laughs> you guys keep tricking me. You, you literally I'm sorry, put... I'm just like holding up the cross. Oh. Fair enough. Uh, Bryant? You're muted. Bryant claims Slayer and shoots Richard. Bryant claims Slayer and shoots Slayer shot. Richard, the game goes on. All right, if no more Slayer shots, I will open nominations. 
Do we have any info rolls? We, Who we wants to test it? Be very careful about nominations. Who wants to test it? it? There's a riot on the script. Yes. Oh, that's right. Do we not nom? I mean, what? I've never actually played in a riot game. If there's a riot, we have to because we have to kill. Well, there's only two, so you we have... got. We got yeah, to kill you, one. Have, you have three days to kill two riots. Hmm. I mean, the only it's way to know if there's a riot though is to nominate. Second call for nominations. I want to keep playing the game, and I know everybody else wants to keep playing the game. Then nominate. Well, then nominate don't nominate me, Tiffy. <laughs> Tiffy, you can nominate me. No. Sorry. Final oh. call for nominations? Well, okay, you don't die from nominating. You die I from know. them nominating you. Yes, I but know. if you nominate someone, they're going to nominate you back. Okay, Brian will nominate Ash. Bryant nominates Ash, who dies. There you go, guys. Uh, Ash nominates Mark. Ash nominates Mark, who dies. Have fun Mark. with that. Sorry. Would you like to nominate? Sure, I'll nominate Tiffy. Mark nominates Tiffy, who dies. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, I was Snake Charm Night One, so sorry. Tiffy, uh, <laughs> Tiffy nominates Richard. Tiffy nominates Richard. Who dies? Interesting. Inter wait. Interesting. Thanks for killing me genuinely, Brian. I want it out of this world. You're welcome. When he says running at a counter, I'm surprised you're actually not running it that way. Richard, you gonna nominate? Yeah, Richard, would you like to nominate? Or should I bring the day to a close? Uh, should probably bring nominate. it to a close. We'll All right. By the way, by the way, Tiffy, you were the lunatic. Yeah, I know. Bring the day okay. to a close <laughs> in three, two, one. Go to sleep. I do love getting stinky. So, Ash was Mark the other. Well, that was fast and furious. Yeah. Uh, I guess there's no more snake charmers. <laughs> All our snake charmers are dead. Whoops. I guess our empath has to get a one between the recluse and the riot. That is, uh, yeah, probably a one is the safest thing to do. And Becca as the riot is interesting because Becca wasn't a starting riot, so they no one actually knows that she is the riot. Like the minions can't flip on her, right? Like yeah. Ash can't flip. Ash can flip on Mark because Ash knew Mark was evil, and that's why she nominated him, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's I think how so. that went down. All right, so no snake charmer, no lunatic. Uh, Colson is going to get a one, so let's go get Colson in here. Hey, Colson. Hi. Uh, you get a one. Not surprising. Thank you. You're welcome. And McKay. So McKay's got to pick a uh, player. I mean, we have to say Riot and what they are or, you know. Or I guess, for, do we say Snake Charmer for Becca, or do we say Becca didn't get any bluffs? I feel like if we don't Becca. say Snake Char, if we don't say Snake Charmer, it sells out Becca. But this is the only info that town really gets to solve this, and I do think we should probably, we should probably pick a random roll and then let McKay win that if if she, if they pick Becca. Uh, what if they pick Fredo? It'd be Riot plus. I guess it has to be Recluse, huh? That sucks. Uh, Darn. yeah, right. Because it, it's either uh, Evil and as a minion or Demon if dead. Uh, uh, I mean, we could show Recluse and a random minion if we want to confirm Fredo as the Recluse. But uh, that would break the Dreamer ability. It would for sure. Right. Um, what you want to show Riot and another minion? Uh, no, no, I mean minion in place of Riot. So you say recluse or minion, which says, hey, this person's definitely the recluse. Yeah, okay, that would work actually. But I don't know uh, that I'm going to do that. Yeah, Let's just see what my picks. I'll wing it. Hello. Hey, McKay, who would you like to dream? 
Give me Bryant. All right. You dream so Bryant. Slash riot. You oh. learn riot or clockmaker. Okay. Have fun. Yeah, well, that was much faster than last game. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh... Oh, Mike just super chatted. It's going to come through in a second. He says, Evil Aqua or Mario Steve? Mm. Hmm. Merging us together there. Yeah. All right. Mario Steve. <laughs> Mario Steve. Evil Aqua. Evil Aqua has a good ring to it. All right, let's go wake him up. Nominate me. I might. I know I'm nominating, so. Good morning, everyone. Uh, nobody died. Have fun. No, no, nobody died. Are you going to nominate yet? No. Talk I'll to give, I'm going to give literally do? three minutes. Hey, Richard. So, does Snake Charmer work differently on this script? Uh, No. I would, if, I would, if, I snuck, if I switched with a demon, I'd be told I was a demon, right? Correct. Um, the only thing that you might be missing in this world is that it's fun drunk is well, it could be a drunk, but also there could be multiple snake charmers in the bag. Oh, one of the I stipulations. One of the, the main things about the script is there could be an infinite number of snake charmers. I did not know that. That makes more sense. So that, that might be what you're trying to, to see there. Okay. Thanks. Sure. We can have a day three, but I doubt it. There's no even, there's not even voting. It's just noms, right? So right. So if anyone noms today, it's the final day, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Anyone but me, basically. Huh. Why anybody? You yeah. <laughs> like, so I was very confused why, like, yeah. Yeah. When you said you were snake charmed, but then I was like, I wasn't turned into a demon. I had the best conversation with McKay. It was like, like McKay asked me if I was snake charmed. I'm like, yeah. I was like, they said something like, oh, but you're going to fuck it. I'm like, I didn't start, couldn't quite start as snake charmed. You want to know what the evil dude is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you want to know what the demon is? So I think it's Becca. I wouldn't know. Yeah. Maybe. All I knew is that Tiffy was lunatic and Mark was the other starting riot. Yeah, Tiffy came to me and is like, so, what are you claiming? I was like, what? Like, then she kept saying, Evil like, Aqua I have you, you marked me Steve. down, right? That was, there's my super chat. I finally came through. Evil Mario, or e Aqua, is Evil, Aqua Steve, or, wait. What was it again? I gotta scroll back up. It was Evil Aqua or Mario Steve. Uh, I'm partially Evil Aqua. I, sorry, I, 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 just, I thought you were talking about Becca. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't tell me snake charmers there are. What were you trying to claim, Mark? Was I trying to claim? Yeah. I was okay, fighting snake charmer. Fight the snake charmer. I mean, you're not, but you know. <laughs> well, or you're lying. But I know you weren't. At least you could say that you were snake charmer, but you definitely aren't the bio snake charmer. <laughs> So far, I've had two potential snake charmers claim they chose me on day one. Only one an actual snake charmer, and clearly I was snake charmed by someone else, too. I've heard no, three snake weren't. charmers still and, and a recluse. <laughs> I mean, I know of a lunatic. Yep. Oh, how many outsiders should there be? Oh, two! Wow. Good friggin' god. And we know of a recluse? We I know of a lunatic. It was Tippy. <laughs> Well, yeah, but also there's a second outsider. All right, I will leave a moment there, for Slayer be, Shots. could be the drunk as well. Oh, I'm muted. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I'll leave a moment for Slayer Shots. I assume Asher's Slayer crossbow is just sitting from day one still. I am dead, Steve. I can I try. I'll, 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 I'll give it a good shot. I mean, I'll, I'll choose to Slayer shoot Fredo. All right, Ash dead shoots Fredo. And the game goes on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we're going to have a crossbow. Huh? Do we, do... Sorry, did you ask a question? I think my shot might have been effective. Seems dead in his chair. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone claimed Recluse? Has anyone right. actually claimed Recluse? Nominations are open. And I will say at this point, since it's very clear it's a Riot game, 
We are playing with the rule that you cannot write and nominate a dead player. It has to be an alive player. Bryant nominates Becca. Bryant nominates Becca, who dies. The game uh, is Becca over. Congrats. The game is <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah, I'm not but... Congratulations <laughs> goes to Yay! the Thank good you. team. So, um, in this game, uh, we had Mark, your starting Riot, <laughs> along with Ash, your other starting Riot. Ash was picked by Snake Charmer 1 Becca immediately. And Becca became the new Riot. After that, Ash was picked by Snake Charmer number two, Richard. I was very but confused. <laughs> I didn't know there could be multiple Snake Charmers. You didn't listen to the rules. No. <laughs> um, Please appreciate this, guys. <laughs> that left us with uh, Tiffy, your lunatic, who knew it was a Riot game, but was told that Richard was actually her uh, fellow Riot. It was a very funny conversation. <laughs> almost. Almost got he it. Like, he was like, what are you? I was like, you know what I am. It's not a poppy grower. You know. It was very funny. <laughs> Just as, as calculated. Uh, Coulson, the empath who started <laughs> next to an evil riot and the other riot that became a lunatic and got a zero, actually. I thought we were going to give you a yeah. two, but actually got a zero. Um <laughs> Fredo, your recluse, who nobody ever tried to snake charm because both snake charmers were killed day one yeah. by <laughs> the, the um, riot ability. Bryant, your clockmaker, who learned a correct one because at that point, Becca and Mark were the demons and minions. So that did not ping off recluse Fredo. It went McKay as the dreamer, who... Gets very limited dreamer information in a riot game, but learned that Richard was the snake charmer or the riot, and then learned that Bryant was the clockmaker or the riot. But the thing is, if you, oh, learn, I someone totally... snake, if you learn someone snake charmer, you should kill them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I totally screwed myself because I told Bryant I snake charmed Ash. <laughs> uh, okay, honestly, it didn't matter. Um, when I had a clockmaker one. And Ash out of Mark, you were the only person left next to Mark. Ash, yeah, I will say that... Yeah, you first, which I was very relieved about. <laughs> Ash, I will say that there is a point where it's a 50-50 to making you or Tiffy the lunatic, and I was like, no, nah, we have to make Ash the lunatic. <laughs> For the content alone. Exactly. We knew you were getting snake charmed anyways. It didn't matter. <laughs> I, and I got chosen by both snake charmers. <laughs> so like it worked out. It's fine. Like they they knew what the game was gonna do to me either way. Yeah, they kind of kind of left me out to dry though. It's kind of hard to uh, do anything if you don't get picked and you're and your former <laughs> minion out you. I was so confused when Ash was like, "I was riot and snake charm," and I was like, "But but they sent me back to sleep. I don't know what's going on." Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. You gotta get no, there Ash first. I literally said to Steve, let's get this over with. I'll pick Ash. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. And that's why you chose to stop killing Richard? Because you didn't know what well, was that, going on? That's why I yeah, picked Tiffy. Like, just in... <laughs> what's going on? I'm just going to stop this. Well, that's why I picked Tiffy, just in case I was a lunatic, which I didn't think I was, but I figured no. if I was, then... No, you weren't a lunatic. I knew Tiffy was. It, it's, so, it's interesting to me to see the same idea for a game but from leviathan to riot it changed up the vibe mm -hmm. quite a bit yeah i like yeah, that was the same. Way better with I, like, riot. I like it with riot honestly it was yeah. really silly but very fun yeah it is super fun i'm like okay it is riot i can just get myself dead day one then i can completely not have to pick anyone to snake charmer cool and if i had nominated to begin it was great yeah so thanks Brian. It was definitely because I You're really welcome. thought we were starting with Richard. Brian. <laughs> Why did we end up oh. starting with Ash? Uh because well we hadn't really talked about a who, but with a clockmaker one, Ash and Mark were next to each other. So mm -hmm. you said Mark, Ash, and Richard, so I just went with one of them. <laughs> was, that was my day one hit list. I was like, these are the people we're killing today. And, and yeah, did. it was amazing. You got all your dreams. You got all your dreams. It's because they very much I coincided with exactly what I wanted to do with Mark. <laughs> and if, 
Mark, were you, were you at any point confused when I immediately chose you? Do you think the game would send it? Uh, no, I figured you had been Snake Charmer and you oh, were I'm... just killing me. I was hoping I just for like, could... just a moment you had, had a flash of panic. No, it wasn't a panic. It was like, oh, well, I can't do anything. I'm dead. <laughs> I know. I couldn't imagine the stress of a Poppy Girl Riot game where you're so scared oh, about killing your Riot. You didn't keep, keep yourself no. alive or anything uh, else. Keep well, alive. If, you're, if you're evil, just don't nominate because you want yeah. an evil to not be killed. Yep. That's yeah, I mean, that's, that's definitely true. I but... always had to hope. I mean, Colson claimed he picked Ash, and I also had Richard claimed it, so I thought... And then Becca claimed it, so I thought, well, one of them is probably right. I didn't know which one. Yeah, I, I also told Ash I was a snake charmer that chose her. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so I, had, I had two people that came to me claiming to be snake charmer that chose me. One right. of them legitimately did. The other was not and was just having fun, and then I happened to actually be snake charmer. I was like, about right, to come to you day one as well. Yeah, and, tell and then had an actual snake charmer who chose me and got to me first. Right, so that's why I was trying to not pick a snake charmer with my pick, because I figured... Mm-hmm. You know, if I was still evil, I did not kill the snake charmers who might be on my team. <laughs> Wait, who did you? You picked Tiffy, yeah. I picked Tiffy in case I was lunatic, plus I knew it was not going to kill a potential riot. Mm-hmm. Safest oh kill, God. yeah. Oh, it's, it's a good, it, it's, it's fun. I don't hate it as much as I could. You don't hate it as much? Yeah, I think definitely, definitely better with Riot than Leviathan. Yeah, yeah Leviathan. I think Leviathan just riot. felt... The Leviathan felt like a really long game, and it was mm-hmm. right because you're talking through so much every day. I think Leviathan, the, like if I was to storytell it again, I would probably just really shorten the day phases because there's not a lot of info going around. It's just a lot of talking. So I'm trying to think how the heck Al Hadikia would work with this script. It seems like it would be weird. Yeah, I, I think uh, it's the one I'm least convinced about, but I also don't know what the fourth demon I would put on here would be in its place. Um, but Do it's also one. Have... I mean, you don't have to have four. You, you don't. No. Oh, I mean, a lot of these, like three, three out of four of these have tells. You'll already yeah. know what demon it is by the end of day one. That's that's kind of the thing. Yeah, you'll. That's that's you why I picked. You don't necessarily have to have multiple. If you find one that works best. You don't have to. It just uh, enables multiple play styles if you want there to be. Yeah, the reason Al Hadig is there, I haven't tried it yet. It's just a theory. Is that you know. The, the demon's trying to kill all the snake charmers before they can get snake charmed. The snake charmers don't want to die, and it does create a sort of interesting decision on who chooses to live or die. Well, we could just explicitly run one that is Al Hadikia. Yeah, I mean, I, I, especially on this script, after day one, you know what demon you're dealing with, right? Mm-hmm. So it's not. We could just explicitly mm-hmm. run one that's Al Hadikia. Yeah. Just to test it out. Oh, little monster could be interesting because you're always passing the baby around trying to knock a snake charmer. Yeah, I think little monster would work better than El Hadikia. I mean, you'd, you'd wait. You could either treat it as yeah. poppy girl rules, but where you don't necessarily know who else no, is on would, your team mid game, or you could do it normal rules where you know who's on your like. You basically get a check in every night, see who's on your team. Yeah, normal rules because it, it could be like if, if we're little monster and I check with you and you'd say, "Sure, I'll take the baby," and I wouldn't know you weren't on my team, and then you go, "Okay, kill me. I'm I'm good now." I have the baby. But then well, I think they steal the baby if they snake charm you. I think they steal yeah. the baby too if they snake charm. Yeah, they will. Right, but I'm saying if, mm. and this, you were already snake charmed. So if, at that night, if we came and we were still alive, and I didn't know you were snake charmed, and except that, you know. No, you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't be evil anymore, so you wouldn't get woken up for the baby yet. Like, oh, okay. Snake charm so, so happens then, first. Snake happens first. Only the evil alive would wake up. Little breaks the game. Does, Does it? it? <laughs> It just does. It doesn't make sense. You have to just kind of best guess how it should work, right? Well, well all the snake well, charmers go first before the night goes away. They true. they can only snake charm the person holding the demon. True. Then everyone can wake up. Yeah, but, but the, on their the, team the, currently. But the demon and the minion have to first. Or the two minions have to pay who money to tell Brian he has skull, a right? stupid shirt. Uh, I mean, if we're already doing special uh, rules, we can say if there's low. Wait, actually, which one does that go first? Actually, so real quick, we have a we have a, a, a super chat in in. I have to read to you so uh michael mcclanahan has donated two dollars to say paying money to tell bryant he has a stupid shirt <laughs> UIFYB. so are you guys saying you want to run it uh an alhadika version of the script right now try it yeah sure yeah uh, remember what we were saying about mike earlier forget it sure <laughs> all those good things we said about mike yeah let me just check with tiffany and Fredo. Okay. It. uh everyone's wanting to run another version of the script with alhadika are you guys both in yeah, that's good. Sure, sure, okay. sure, yeah. All right, Tiffy I'll set it up, and I will try to run it fast. We're going to run a specifically Alhad one of the scripts, so we already know what the demon is. It'll be a Alhad. 
just to try it out. Or maybe I'll throw you off and not do that. Maybe. maybe. I I feel like you just Leviathan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so <laughs> this time um, we're doing Al Hadikia because that's you know people are interested in that. It's a fun one. I don't know how it'll work, but we'll see. Right? Yeah, uh, I just don't know what minion will work off. Well, but Marinette, maybe? A Marinette uh, is probably the best one. Yeah, Al Hadiga is already just way too strong with 11 players. Yeah, so we'll do so. Marionette. Um, and then um, we're going to do a drunk this time. And I feel like if I do. I don't think I'm going to do a lunatic just so I make the demon second guess that they're their lunatic, right? Yeah, let's just do so a recluse. We'll, we'll do a drunk recluse. Uh, I'm definitely doing an amnes oh, sorry, a uh, amnesiac because part of the key thing about this is coming up with cool abilities for uh, this sort of setup. Yeah. Um, we're gonna do three snake charmers. Tea lady, I'm not sure about tea lady. I gotta rethink tea lady on the script because I don't know how tea lady and riot uh, would right. interact. Well, I believe riot always kills the. Tea lady, from my understanding. Yeah, this is they die, but then Nate, the tea lady uh, can't die if they're both good. So then it just would create this worst situation where you run a vote in a riot game and nobody would ever vote on it, right? Yeah. Um, I will do dreamer. Dude, no, like I'm gonna do fortune teller this time. And. We'll do a f philosopher and in. I'm gonna do a slayer. Fuck it, slayer time. Really, we uh, don't know. We're just throwing shit at the wall and see what sticks at this point, right? That's fair. We can always get the slayer to shoot the uh, the recluse. I think guess they just immediately know it's the recluse. Um. True. Yeah. Um, okay. Pass no, we're we're gonna make the. I don't know. We'll find out. Never mind. No, yeah, no, we're gonna see where they land, and we'll figure out where we put the drunk. Yeah. So Fredo's the Al Hadikia, Snake Charmers, Tiffy, Colson, and Becca. Uh, they'll probably make McKay as the Marionette then. Slayer or Marionette. or we can make Richard the Marionette. <laughs> Richard the Marionette. I'm cool with McKay. I think McKay's Marionette works. Okay. They won't know the Marionette. Uh, and then the drunk. Um. I guess it has... I'm going to make oh, Richard yeah. the drunk, the drunk philosopher, um, because I don't know what he's going to pick, but it'll cause chaos for whatever he picks not to work. Yeah, be Is there a funny. better one, you think? Is there a funner, better one? Uh, I mean, we can't really do Amni, and I think Drunk Snake Chamber isn't really interesting, so that really just leaves Richard. Or okay. Mark, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, Richard works. Uh, I want I want Mark to get information. And yeah. then I want the snake charmers to go off. Uh, that being said, Ash is amnesiac. So. I'm gonna make Ash the red herring. <laughs> uh, ooh, I like that actually. Yeah. Let's make Ash the red Can't herring. Snake charm, so. so Ash is amnesiac. I think we're going to do an ability that has to do with. Uh, ability has to do with what? With. I think I'm going to give Ash a number and that number will be the number of unsuccessful snake charms. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Cool. Okay. Let's uh drunk is gonna be fun. You can just fuck with them the entire game. <laughs> oh wait, Mike's here? Oh what sorry Mike. Mike jumped in chat he was gonna play with us and I missed it and then we already passed uh, out rolls and he's left. I am so sorry Mike. I didn't know you were gonna jump into game three. Oh well. All right, let's uh, let's go. Oh yeah, bless. We do bless. So I think empath is definitely good here. Empath. Dreamer uh... uh, is not great. I think maybe. Uh, That's hard, shit. right? There's not a lot of good choices here. Yeah. We'll do, we'll do innkeeper. Clockmaker or washerwoman. Washerman's hard. Dreamer's hard because they can't really s convince that. Um, although it might convince people that they're the drunk. Professor's not going to work. Yeah. But 
Uh, we'll do Clockmaker because it's a it's a marionette game. And they can throw. Yeah. yeah, perfect. All right. Let's wake them up. All right. Information is set. Everyone go to sleep. Yeah. What does that mean? Um, uh, I think it. All right. Um, I think something. Do you think you should add a bear into the script? Oh, it's it's possible that we want a baron on the script. Yeah. I'm just thinking, like, you know, if Mike join, our base outsider would be zero, and that's, like, not as fun, I think, in terms of... Because I, I feel like the point is to some, utilize some of these outsiders. All right, I'm going to get Mike in here as a traveler. Yeah. Is he, is he watching the stream, though? He, uh, no, I think he left. Okay. Oh, gosh, Mike's here. Mike, Mike, take the seat. You're going to travel. Mike, go. Mike, go. Oh, there no, is. no. As long no. as, Mike, you swear you haven't seen the setup Ooh. on stream. Nope, I've been downstairs the whole time. All right, I'm going to wake up. I've never been a traveler before. This is awesome. Nice. Nice. So I did I did have specific travelers on the script, but they're not loading up for some reason. I think I got the wrong version of the script. Mm -hmm. But that mm -hmm. being said... Um, Um, I want to make it interactive. Where, where was, hang on, hang on. I had ones. You want to do oh. Apprentice? Yeah, Apprentice is definitely one. I'm going to make you an Apprentice. But I can't make you Apprentice Snake Charmer because that breaks everything in this world. Um, but I am going to say that you are, let me look at the script real quick. All right, you are evil. You have okay. the Saranovis ability. Okay. Your demon is Fredo. Okay. I don't think Fredo and I have been, ever been evil together. Cool. Thank you. Have fun. That'll yeah, be fun. Yeah, there's no other option for the minion. <laughs> Not unless you want to like, out Mike as the Vizier. Actually, they wouldn't know Mike's the Vizier, right? They would just know. Oh, yeah, they would. Yeah. They no, would. Like, you definitely don't want that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, this will be fun, though. Okay, so um, let's go see what Richard wants to do. Hey, Richard. Hello, hello. Would you like to use your ability? Oh... Do I go for the the team play or the meme play? Meme all the way, right? I feel like I mean, this script especially, right? Yeah. yeah. I would like to use it. Okay. What would you like to become? Snake Charmer, please. All right. You are now the Snake Charmer. I will come back at the Snake Charmer time in the night. All right. Thank you. Thank you. The, the question is for, for Ash, do we count his snake charms as unsuccessful ones? And I think, no, we don't. No, he's, he's not actually a snake charmer. Exactly. Uh, all right, let's go to Frida. Hello there, Fredo. Hey, buddy. So first of all, I am here to tell you that McKay is your marionette. Oh. <laughs> okay. Your bluffs okay. are Empath, Innkeeper, and Clockmaker. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Have fun. Oh, I will. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Later. Okay. Let's go back to Richard. All right, now I'm here for your pick, Richard. You're muted just, just as a heads up before you. Do I go for the meme again? <laughs> I, I I feel like I have to. Let's go with Ash. All right, you pick Ash. Again. Mm -hmm. Go to sleep. Again. Right, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if we made Ash's ability the number of times 
a snake charmer has picture. <laughs> I think that would be hilarious, but I do want to make it at least somewhat game solving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Tiffy. Hey, Tiffy. Uh, I am half tempted to snake sharp Mike just for the lols. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Fredo. Uh, all right, Tiffy, you pick Fredo. You are the Al Hadikia. You are evil. McKay is your marionette. Sounds great. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, God. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's the Alhadikia. Let's go to Freda and tell him the good news. Hey, Freda. You are the snake charmer. You are good. God. God. Why do you do this to me, Steve? I didn't do it. Do you understand that, right? I didn't do it. I, I had McKay. I was going. I. Sorry, Freda. I'm disappointed. You can get it back. This. You can get it back. I'm, disapp I'm, I'm very disappointed in this. But <laughs> how can I get it back? I'm the drunk. The, no, no, no. In this script, the snake charmer is always sober and healthy. So on future nights, you can. Switch oh, again. it's still the same thing that we were doing before. Yep. Okay, okay. Yep, it's hot potato. Okay. All right. Cool. Later. Later. All right, uh, let's go to Colson. Please pick. Hey, Colson. Hi. Who would you like to pick? Oh, let's just go right for Bryant. All right, you pick Bryant. You are now the recluse. You are good. Thank you. You're welcome. Change Bryant into the snake charmer. I know there's always debate like, oh, can you make a new demon on that? I, I just go by the swapping roles aspect. Yeah. Especially on the screen. All right. Yeah, especially right. on the screen. Hey, no Brian. Comment. No comment. You are the snake charmer. You are good. Cool. I was going to claim that anyway, so that works. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> See ya. Good night. Uh, let's go to Becca, last snake charm. Hey there, Becca. Hello. Who would you like to charm? Can I pick Mike? Is that an option? Uh, I'm going to say that travelers are not valid options, though. It breaks the game too much. Damn. I know. Um, I'll pick McKay. All right. You pick McKay. Nothing happens. Go to sleep. Cool. Thanks. All right. So Ash is getting a one. Oh, we're going to Mike, pick Mike first. I already told Mike everything, didn't I? Oh, I got to take his pick, right? Yeah, yeah. He actually... I, don't, I can't mark him as it, right? Because, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can add the thing in. I'll just go. Hey, Mike. I get to pick someone? Yeah, you're Sarah Novus, so who would you like to Sarah, who would you mm. like to make Sarah Novus, man? Ooh, boy. Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to make, hmm. Ooh, there's a, there's a jinx. I can make someone mad at the goblin. Ooh. Uh, you know what? I, do I make Bryant the goblin or make Ash the goblin? <laughs> hmm. So many choices. Uh, well, you know what? We're going to make Bryant the goblin. Bryant mad that he's the goblin. Awesome. I'm sure he'll yeah. roll with that. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> That's a fun jinx. Let's bring Bryant oh, in. Geez. <laughs> hey, Bryant. Yep. As per the special jinx on the script, you have been made mad that you are the goblin. Okay. <laughs> have fun with that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do about all that, but okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, so Ash is getting a one because Becca's is the only snake charmer that missed that didn't didn't hit. All right. Wait, that did or didn't? Is that what we're saying? So we're saying we're giving her a number because if I say how many hit, that's too. I think that's too easy. So I'm going to say how many how many snake charmers were unsuccessful, and two Not went enough. off. Two of the three went off. So yeah. 
Hello. This is a better way to wake up, I hope. Uh, yeah, I am here to give you a... Let me just double check something. Uh, I am here to give you a one. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. I guess double. you could technically make an avenue ability that they're the evil demon. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Let's get Mark's fortune teller ping. Up, Mark, pick up. He's not picking up. There you are. Oh. All right. Please pick two players. Right and Tiffy. All right, you pick Bryant and Tiffy, and you get a yes. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Well, how about that? Oh. Uh, we'll we'll bluff a minute or leave a little bit of time here. I know we left a lot, but I don't want to know that he's the last roll. Yeah. Especially with the bluffs being clockmaker. And. That should do it. All right, let's wake him up. What shoes on? <laughs> Good morning, town. I will give you guys... Who knows what the demon is? Nobody could possibly know. But I'll give you guys uh, four minutes on the first day. It's not confirming it yet, but practically. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Words are hard. Did you try to snake charm me day one? There no, I just figured oh. I'd ask. No, I'm actually not the demon this time. Nice. <laughs> Nor am I a snake charmer, so I'm having a much better game. <laughs> I don't think uh, I can. Oh God, are you an I, outsider? I, can you be, can you be jumped to? I think. I mean, Steve no one can be sure because I I'm, I I don't think I'm an outsider, but anyone could be drunk. I don't think sure. I'd be drunk. I think my role would be pretty pointless if I were drunk. What is your role? Would you hard climb back if I told you? Sure. I'm the amnesiac. Nice. I am the philosopher who has not used it yet. Please don't be looking of a snake charmer. No. <laughs> I don't know if I trust that, but all right. Yep. I, I was thinking I was thinking for the memes or Poppy Grower, but then eh. I don't know, maybe I got, I'll do something more useful. I got a one. Got a one. Now, logically, based on the concept of this game, I'm really tempted to ask if it has something to do with snake charmers slash, like, how many times demon changed last night. That makes sense. I don't know if that's the best choice, but logically, that's what I want to do. I would go with that, honestly. <laughs> or how many, how many snake charm picks were there? Maybe I could I just know. say, does it does it have anything to do with like demon changing? Which then would just tie in the entire concept of snake charming. I would think. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let me know how it goes. Sure. Right. Um, trying to figure out, make sure I'm phrasing it the right way, but it'll basically be the essence of that question. Okay. I'll wait for your exact verbiage, and then I will give you a ruling. I guess I could do it simply. Um, does, it, does my ability have anything to do with snake charmers and or the changing of demons? I think I'll give you a warm. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, warm. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, I'll say that. Well, hmm, hmm, hmm. fifty-fifty. Um, fifty-fifty. What? That you're evil. I uh, I don't know if it's fifty-fifty, but sure. But I mean, there's only two choices. Either you're good or you're evil. That's 50 50. I, mean, I, I, right? say the same, this same, I say the same thing about you, technically. Yeah. I try to not be that annoying person. <laughs> I've had it happen, not with you, of course. I don't think it, with anyone here, but I've had it happen where, like, someone's definitely seen that I'm going to chat with another player, still repeatedly pings me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've definitely had people do that. I've done it once or twice, but with very important information yeah, that yeah. was like. 
Yeah. Being the goblin. Yeah. I mean, Mark's not who I was told, but he could have been snake charm last night. So. Yeah. <clears throat> No, we're back. Oh. We got summoned, Fredo. God damn it. I hit the wrong thing. Sorry, dude. Oh, Chill. Mike. Mike had to. Mike wow. disconnected. Gross. Welcome back to town, everyone. I will leave a pause here for Slayer Shots. I just take a guess that Mike is the apprentice with the Snake Charmer's ability. <laughs> that's <laughs> not. That's slanderous. That's not what happened at all. I, I, I'm guessing. I'm not saying it. Claim Slayer and shoots Ash. Mike claims Slayer and shoots Ash. The game is <laughs> Thank you, Ash, for wasting my ability. I hope you're happy. Richard you. claims Slayer and shoots Mike. Richard yeah. claims Slayer and shoots Mike. Right, the game goes on. Question. I don't think. I, I think mechanically claims. that was. Question. Yes. So if, if you did give the apprentice traveler the snake charmer ability and they snake charmed a demon, would their traveler token then disappear and become so invisible? Or would I wouldn't ever give the apprentice the snake charmer ability because of that reason. But Fair if enough. I did, the minute they were no longer that role, it, it would, would be removed away. from them. Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Mike, are you double claiming me? Uh, no, I'm not. So therefore, Mike, <laughs> I do not believe that. I just thought <laughs> it'd be funny. Yes. <laughs> you motherfucker. God damn it. What, what, what? That was my that was my bluff. Which one? <laughs> that, that the phyla the thing. <laughs> That's fine. You can roll with it. I said I wouldn't do it, but if I did, <laughs> that would be a thing. I think I even told you that. I said I can't give you phyla, right? I think I didn't. I not talk that. I didn't say phyla. I said snake charmer. I just said oh, I'm, sorry, I'm snake, charmer. The snake charmer apprentice. I couldn't give snake charmer because that would break the traveler rule, right? I think I said that out loud when we were talking oh, about. Uh, if you did, I missed it. So maybe I just said it in my <laughs> maybe I just said it in my head. Oopsie, Roll oopsie. the tape back. Replay time. I'd like to exile Mike. Are we asking good questions? Are we exile Mike? No! Call are, you goblin, call, Mike. are you calling exile for real? Yes. Yeah. Well, I haven't opened nominations. Any other Slayer shots? Uh, yeah, suck claims, it, Bryant. Tiffy claims Slayer and shoots Becca. Tiffy claims Slayer and shoots Becca. The game goes on. I claim Slayer and shoot Colson. McKay claims Slayer and shoots Colson. The game goes on. Are we Slayer shot time? Yeah. Not yet. Uh, Any other Slayer Fredo shots? Slayer and shoots mm, Tiffy. Fredo claims Slayer and shoots Tiffy. The game goes on. Okay, now nominations are open. I'd like to Look, Brian. <laughs> Suck it, Brian. <laughs> I was too fast. Which one you want to run first, Steve? Um, <laughs> I will run the nomination first. Yeah. Uh, no, McKay. Tell us why, Mike. <laughs> Uh, Brian hard claimed goblin to me, <laughs> and you know what? I don't believe him. He's probably a sync tar charmer that picked the demon. She rid of him. Brian, I can believe you're me. I'm a goblin. <laughs> okay, uh, five votes to put Brian on the block. I think Brian is one Thanks of the running this good one goblins. first. I think this was the better choice for content. Uh, <laughs> pertinent. I. You wusses. I Brian. Thanks, He's a helpful Fredo. goblin. Richard, Richard, please, Richard, please. No. Yes. yes. Excellent. Yes. All right. Bryant I'm is on the block goblins. for execution. Bryant, would you like to exile Mike? No, I'm good. Okay. Was well, Bryant cleaning goblin? Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, we can be pretty confident that didn't put in Leviathan, and didn't oh, put yeah. in Orion. I'm, I'm, I'm going to nominate Tiffy just because in case Bryant's the goblin. Mark, the goblin. I, Mark. I trust him, Brian. He's not the goblin. Mark nominates Yeah, Tiffy. there's too many votes on that. I don't I don't trust that. I was not one of those votes. Why are you crazy? I don't think Brian's the goblin, but I also don't want to. Oh, I know he's not the goblin. I know who the minion is. It's just I'm no longer the demon. <laughs> I, I am a powerful I mean, town. Mean all the snake charmers chose me today. What? All right, six votes will tie. Seven to put Tiffy on the block. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <clears throat> this is my friend. Two is not enough. Tiffy's not on the block. 
kill all saints, kill all goblins, right? Yeah. Final call yeah, for nominations? No so quarter for the demons. I'm not the demon. I was the demon. I you will bring... tell us which demon, and we were probably pretty sure. We want to specify just in case. Oh, we'll find out here in a minute. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yes, yeah, I think we're gonna find I out. I mean, like, yeah. I'm pretty confident. Fredo, you were the one that took. Bring the dado close okay. in three, two, Sorry, Fredo. one. Is off script board time. Bryant is executed and dies, and we go to sleep. Wait, you were the goblin, bro? You lied to me? Of course he wasn't That's the blue goblin. Cold. I was the goblin. Was I like the drunk goblin? <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy set of games. Okay. Yeah. So Richard thinks he's already used it, so we don't go to him, but we do go to him for the snake charm. One snake charmer down, two legit, one drunk left. Let's go to Richard and see what he wants to do. Hey, Richard, who would you like to charm? Uh, do I want to try to pick who I think might be a demon? Uh, that is the question of the script. I know. Let's just go with it. Uh, let's pick Tiffy. All right, you pick Tiffy. Go to sleep. All right. I think I'm going to mix it up and not come to him first every night just so he doesn't always know he's the first snake charmer, but... Yeah, it's fair. But uh, for this night, I mean, he's if if it'd be it's if you go if you go first, you can pretty much figure you go first because we didn't really leave a pause because we're trying to do it faster. But so it's yeah. a little metaing. But I'm gonna go opposite circle, so I'm gonna go Becca this time. Hey, Becca. Hello. Who, who would you like to charm? I would like to charm McKay. All right, you charm McKay. Go to sleep. All right. One. Did you run fire. a Philo Snake Charmer? Or is just one of the Snake Charmers drunk? No, I I wouldn't. So if the Philo becomes a Snake Charmer, I wouldn't actually drunk one of the other Snake Charmers because the kind of the the rule of this is Snake Charmers are always sober and healthy. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I I've, I've chosen to just let it ride. Uh, let's go to Fredo. See if he gets it back. Hello. Hey, Fredo. Who would you like to charm? I will charm Mark. All right. You pick Mark. Go to sleep. All right. So two snake charms, two misses. Ash is getting a two tonight. Uh, but first, we gotta see if if she lives, because the Al Hadikia gets to pick my three first, names. My first. Oh God, the Sarah Novus. Good call. Good call. He's still alive. And, yep, yep. Okay. Hey, Mike. Uh, who would you like to Sarah Novus today? Uh, I think McKay will be mad that they're the Goblin. McKay as the goblin. <laughs> you're just a, you're just a chaos goblin. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you. Well, let's go tell McKay. They're gonna like it. Hey, McKay. What? I am here to tell you that the Saranovis has chosen to make you mad that you are the goblin. <laughs> I will relay the love. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay, uh, now we can get to the Al Hadikia picks. Hello there, Tiffy. Hi. I'm here to tell you that you are able to make your three picks. Please pick your three oh, players. Cool. Um, it's going to be, you know, it's purely off of my personal want of who can 
who didn't who can die not off of anything because the only person i talked to was fredo he's like i'm bad i gotta stay charmed i'm like <laughs> i know who did that uh but so i'm gonna i'm gonna not choose him just to like let him keep going um i am gonna choose mckay okay mckay is one choice ash okay ash and mike <laughs> <laughs> hit the traveler why not it's a valid choice it is thank you all right thank you okay so i am going to uh just for a little bit of meme here just delay a little bit to make tiffy afraid that she might be the lunatic yeah yeah that's right and I think for this one, I will probably keep everyone in town, keep them quiet, and then I'll use the card system for if they want to live or die. Okay. Right. Um, so beyond that, we're going to go to Ash, or if Ash lives, I guess. Ash and then Mark getting a pick for sure. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Okay, Ash and Mike. I'm just going to give it another five seconds. I want Tiffy to sweat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Town, town, Hello, town. town. May I please have silence during this phase? There will be no talking. And I will be communicating with you using the card system. So respond there. The Al Hadikia has chosen McKay. Where's my card? I'm trying to figure out what the best... I'll, I'll just custom send it. The Al Hadikia has chosen... Ash. The Al Hadikia has chosen Mike. That concludes our Al Hadikia phase of the night. Thank you. Thrilling. Uh, so, um, so we had McKay chose yes to live. Ash chose yes to live. And Mike, Everyone does. Mike chose yes. LMAO, of course, get fucked. Good losers. <laughs> of course, yeah, it makes sense. You would choose yes. <laughs> okay, so all three are gonna die, which means uh, Ash does not trigger. Um, so we just go to Mark. Hey, Mark. Please pick two players. I am going to choose Becca and Fredo. You choose Becca and... F okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I, you... I, 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 I prematurely ejected it. Becca and Fredo. <laughs> You're like, Becca and Fredo dropped the mic and left. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you choose Becca and Fredo, and you learn a no. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, that's everything, right? Um, yeah. This is definitely interesting for good, which we all have. Yeah, but the snake charmers are still out there. All right, let's go uh, wake them up. Following other vowel. They were like, clean that up. Good morning, up. everyone. McKay has died in the night. Oh, no. As has Ash. Oh, no. Uh -oh. As has Mike. Oh, well, mm. well, that's awkward. Yeah, it is awkward, isn't oh, it? I'll give you guys four minutes. So did you all choose live or die? Live. I'm guessing live. live. Die. The wild. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I buy that, Mike. Mike's lying. I don't know if I buy that, Mike. Mike oh, oh excuse me. Just because I'm telling you the truth, I'm the liar all of a sudden. Very, very suspect. All of you on watch. Of course, you guys are 
very specific circumstances. I, I, if you're having an innkeeper choose you, you have to be interesting, or an innkeeper's trying to do something strange. Well, I was useless, sadly. I could have been very cool. I could have been a contender. You are still alive. You still are a contender. Is one of my threes. Uh, so what do you got for me? Uh, yeah, I'm poppy grower. <laughs> are you now? No, probably not. Um, no, I am. Why did you want to live? I didn't. I chose to die. So you all chose to die? Wow. Apparently. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I was, like, I was a snake charmer. And uh, I thought you were, hmm. yeah, yeah. I what? was an Alhadikia. How were you? Now I'm just a snake charmer. <laughs> now you're just a snake charmer. Yeah. I used to be awesome. Talk to you? I used to have power. Good to me. All right. Wait, but that All might right. make you drunk. Yeah, but he'll still be protected. I don't know what he is, but like I'll be drunk, he'll be protected because you would be innkeeper. Oh yeah, yeah. if I keep. I'm guessing you're not innkeeper though from this train of. Hi, I didn't get to come talk to you first because Mark attacked me with the chat, but um, I picked you again last night. I also still know Dot Church. Shocking, especially because you died. I mean, you can you can't pick me anymore, sadly. But you were never gonna get the demon out of me since I am the goblin. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And now evil can't win off of a goblin win because, you know, I've been goblin, baby. Do I believe you, though? I'm the fortune teller. I checked Brian and Tiffy night one, got a yes. Tried Fredo and Becca night two and got a no. So I, I hard claim to Becca. I haven't I'd rather repeat that yet. in a second. <laughs> Give me a sec. Yeah. Said Brian. I heard it, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Steve fucked it up. Yep. Rookie. Rookie storytellers, you know. We gotta get Courtney back in here. Yeah. I agree with everything you're saying. I only caught the tail end of it, but I agree hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> Steve, did you not hear my goblin claim? Is that what happened? Oh, you know, I think my headphones must have been muffled. Not cool. Not Unfortunately, cool. someone else had already philoed into goblin, so and I allowed it. Oh, it was McKay probably. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Philo Goblin. I love no, so Who's claiming Philo Goblin? I assumed it was you. What else? Someone there is me. no way to oh, have no, Philo I am goblin. the Goblin and always have been the Goblin. I told you that day one, Brian. Yeah, you double claim me. Yeah, well, you clearly <laughs> weren't the Goblin and I was. No, I was. Steve just screwed up, that's all. So Mike, wanna, wanna, wanna explain to me why you chose to live? Yeah. Uh, I had a really useful power, the Stink Charmer ability. Mike, I don't understand why you chose to live. Because he's the apprentice Serenovus. Yeah, but why Why did the Al They killed had, two good players. Why did the Al had choose two evil players in their first set of kills? That is a weird choice. To guarantee the three yeses. It, Welcome. What do you mean... I mean Two evil players. Because Who are the two a poppy grower is in effect and okay. did not know. Okay. Welcome goblin. back, players. As they like to do. Would anyone oh. like to slay a shot? So, well, Ash, if you're evil, what were you then? Amnesiac? Hmm, that's not an evil character. Or you I mean, might. I have been the only are, evil, like, I've been the only evil, evil character. character in I am the apprentice. It's, it literally says it right there on the screen. Like, it, it should for you. talk about what um, you do, Mike? Yeah, I, I told you I was the stink charmer. Hmm. Really, really fun yeah, time thing for everyone to, to chat cycle again. No, I, I, I claimed it hard to like three people day one. Brian, back me up here. I know. I would like to, uh, you claim oh, yeah, 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 you a shot, Becca. Yeah. Richard claims Philo Slayer and shoots Becca. The game goes on. Why are we all shooting me? All right. Uh, <laughs> the uh, nominations are now open. Crazy. 
Um, Fredo would like to nominate Becca. Fredo nominates Becca. Tell us why. Well, I've been a long time listener. I'm a first time caller, first time nominator. <laughs> and um, I just would, I, I really like today's topic. Um, who is the demon? Becca? Uh, I told multiple people here they could kill me. I'm the snake charmer. I have not snake charmed anyone, but I'm a liability, so please feel free. And I, I have pertinent. I trust Fredo and Becca. Are you sharing the I mean, pertinent or you just have it? Demon. I was waiting for someone to acknowledge it. Um, Beck's getting crane vibes, so be clear about that. What? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. This group's too cool for Frasier jokes? Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. Oh, oh, I get it. That's not hard. That's not hard. That's not hard. Three votes is needed to put Becca on the block. Oh, Mike, if I could execute you, I would. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I'm, you're not a big Frasier fan, Fredo? I can't wait to see the reboot. Are you kidding me? I, I made the joke little, to Becca hopes are very low. Very low. Three is enough. Becca is on the block. Do I have any other nominations? I'd like to nominate I Richard. I that, Becca, by the way. Mark I nominates Richard. Richard. Tell us why. Uh, just based on information I've got from the town. And I haven't heard any claims from Richard, so he's just by process of elimination the only person left. Richard? I haven't spoken with Mark at all, so I don't know nope. what info he's getting. Um, seems no, like... it's not from info from you. It's info from other players and stuff. Okay, well... This seems like uh, Minion Panic to try to get off Becca. So, um, Becca claimed the role to me that I think we should get rid of. So, I'll, I'll, I'll add pertinent. Okay. I don't even remember having a conversation with Richard, but I do have him marked as a snake charmer in my Grim, if that helps. That's from last game, maybe? No, I, no, Grim, that's clear. <laughs> so, that's I definitely from me, had a, I definitely had a I, I told you, Ash, I told you that. No, you definitely. didn't. Definitely from last game. All right, no. three votes will tie, four to execute. Are we tying this? No, no don't sure. tie it. Don't no. tie it. It's a tie it, tie it, tie it, tie it, tie it. Kill him. Kill him. Nice. Colson, rise up. <laughs> okay. Four is enough. Richard is on the block. I think not tie. Uh, Richard nominates Mark. Richard nominates Mark. Tell us why. We haven't spoken, so... We should eliminate him according to his his logic. So, I actually oh. have info that points to certain people and clears other people, and you are not one of the cleared people. It points to you, doesn't it, Mark? That's fine. I have it no doesn't. info. I have no info clearing you. So, pertinent, pertinent. I've hard claimed to a couple people. Uh, I am Snake Charmer and chose Mark last night, and nothing happened to me. This is a weird game. All well, right. I was Al Hadikia or Lunatic, and now I'm Snake Charmer, and I chose Mark Knight too. Four to tie. <laughs> Five to execute. God, that's good. You using your dead vote on this mic? <laughs> we didn't even have to exile Mike. He got killed. One is not enough. Do we have any other nominations? Yeah, I chose to die trying to sacrifice myself, and you all chose to live like selfish jerks. Then explain why you're dead. I will bring this I day I to a to close die. in three. Then explain why we're dead. Two, one. Meteorite. Richard Asteroid. is executed and dies. Gotta close him. And sleep time. Oh, look at that. One drunk philosopher down. I guess I don't have to mix up what order I visit him in. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I will pause here. Uh, we have Becca and Fredo. I'm inclined. I gave it to Becca technically first last night. I'm wondering mm -hmm. if we give Fredo. Would Fredo rather go second and have the final chance to holding the demon? Or would Fredo rather go first? Um, Fredo seemed pretty upset about being evil, or not being evil. Sorry. So you about think you'd rather go first or second, though? I guess I don't really know what that means, though. In terms of second first. has been, second, if you pick right, I mean it's in your hand. You could end up evil, but if you go first, you could become evil and then still steal it again. Two swaps might be too mean for him. Yeah, let's start with Becca then. I'll yeah. start with Becca.
Hey, Becca, please pick a player. I might be about to hate myself. <laughs> Let's pick Mark. All right, Becca, pick Mark. Go to sleep. All right. Okay. That's two snake timers picking Mark. Uh, publicly, I don't know if Becca will be public with that. Let's see who Freda picks. Hello. Hey, Fredo. Please make a choice. Before you pick it, I want to know, do you want Demonhood back? Yes, of course. Okay. I, I, thought, I, as, I thought as much. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to choose Tiffy. That's why I think actually chose me the first time anyway. All right. Fredo, you pick Tiffy. You are yeah. now the Al Hadikia. You are evil. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll come back. All right. Later. Later. All right, we had another swap off. <laughs> What's weird is like the last time we ran this with the Leviathan, it was the same thing where like the day one, like the swap happened early and then swap back later on. Yeah, that seems to I be. I think common. the problem for Fredo is that uh, he's been out as previously Alpha Dikia. Now Tiffy's gonna know exactly. Oh, so, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Fredo's best option is to try to hope to try to kill three players right now. Yeah, there's what five alive. Killing three players would end the game. Or if even you know, if all three die, the game's over. Um, let's go tell yeah. Tiffy. Hey Tiffy, you are the snake charmer. You are good. Okay. Have fun I know with who that. I was gonna pick. Can I tell you who I was gonna pick? I want to know who you were gonna pick. Okay, I was gonna pick Becca. I was going to pick Mike, and I was going to pick Bryant. <laughs> Ooh, the resurrection play. Interesting. I love it. I was going to resurrect a good player, too. Yeah, it would have been fun. Unfortunately, I, so... you don't have the power to choose tonight. Yep, sounds good. All right. <laughs> that would have been fun to see. All right, let's go to Fredo. By <laughs> dousing. D-O-U-S-I-N-G. Dousing. I thought it was a W. D O. Hey, Fredo, um, um, please pick three players. Um, uh, Colson. Colson. Uh, Becca. Becca. And Tiffy. And Tiffy. Awesome. Thank you for your choices. Uh, you're welcome. Bye. Bye. Same thing, oh, we'll boy. let him... What's that? Oh, boy. Yeah. This could end it. I mean, Becca... Uh... This doesn't end it. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we have... Uh, so this has got to go off, and then Mark's going to get info, and this should be last day either way. Yeah, I mean, um, assuming that they don't all just immediately die, Mark will get info. Right. All right, I'm going to go do the Al Hadiga thing. Being you are not being fairly credulous between quote unquote mother Gaia's energy and electromagnetism, both are equally bullshit. You should, you know, I'm just saying, yeah, I want to know what, like, excuse me, were... may I have your attention, please? Because the Al Hadikia has chosen, we need silence while we resolve this very solemn night. The Al Hadikia has chosen Colson. The Al Hadikia has chosen Becca. The Al Hadikia has chosen Tiffy. This concludes our Al Hadikia. I don't know if I'm hoping for an optimal. So, All two right. yeses. I'm going to bed then. <laughs> yeah, two two yeses, one no. Yeah, so we'll have one last day phase. I'm going to get Mark in here real quick. 
Hey, Mark. Please choose um, your players. Can you? Can you, are you really, are you willing to, who are the three people chosen by Hollywood? Are you willing to tell me that again? It was Colson, Becca, Tiffy. Colson, Becca, Tiffy. Oh, jeez. I'll do Fredo and Tiffy. All right. You check Fredo and Tiffy, and you get a yes. Yeah, I thought. Okay. Enjoy. Actually, I'll just leave the computer on, and it should the game should be over by the time I actually go to bed, but yeah. You want, you want me to announce that you're going to bed at the start of the day? Uh, I'll just, uh, I mean, they'll, pretty, they'll probably, it's fine. I'll just okay. say, yeah, I right, won't I'm be saying anything or doing anything. <laughs> I'm going to go wake him up. Florida, don't forget. <laughs> well, you're from California. Isn't that where your accent's from? No, I was Freedom. born and raised in Florida, Tampa, Florida, thank you. But now Real I'm quick, and reside uh, in California. <laughs> would you say that it's important to reduce the number of toxins in your body at any cost? Oh, that's that why I put that stuff on my feet at night. No, Mike, <laughs> what, Mike, what type of you know what, Mike, it's very important to reduce the number of toxins in your bodies. If your kidneys stop working, you die. Good morning, town. Colson has died in the night. No. Becca has died in the night. Oh, no. 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 That'll do it. Three alive. Oh, this is our final day. Perfect. All right, I have news. I do too. Oh boy. All right, Mark can go first. Uh, I'm fortune teller. Night one, Bright and Tiffy, yes. Night two, Fredo and Becca, no. Night three, Fredo and Tiffy, yes. So if one uh, of them j- jumped. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I was the starting snake charmer. I snake charmed Fredo. <laughs> He's so not happy. Um, but I was changed last night. I am now the snake charmer. Um, and just to prove it, I will tell you who my picks would have been last night because these are not my picks. Like, I would not have put myself last. Like, seriously, no. No. My picks would have been uh, Becca, Mike, and Bryant. Do, we have- Do you know the alignment of Mike by chance? Uh, he has not talked to me. Clearly, yeah, uh, Mike is good. definitely Mike is clearly evil, regardless. What? Wait, wait, wait. Based on what information? I'd like to do a round robin, please. Sure. Um, I think we should round robin. I I'll let uh, Colson tell what I was when he could stand in the robin. All right. Well, I will start with Colson. Colson, let's start with you with the round robin. Sure. And I was Snake Charmer. I chose Bryant Night One and became the Recluse, which I was until I died. <laughs> Tiffy. Okay. Okay. So you were the recluse. Um, yes. Snake charmer, then Al Hadikia. I got to make the play of killing Ash, um, McKay, and Brian. Um, yeah, Ash, what? McKay, and Mike. Because I think that's very believable. Well, who did you pick? Night one. <laughs> that that who was who pick? I picked. Oh, that was night two, which was the first opportunity. Oh, first night. Who did you pick? The first I picked, choice. I picked Fredo. Oh. Um, and then day one, I only ever talked to Fredo. So who was the Sarah Novus? Wait, uh, there was, back. yeah. We'll get there. Um, I had a marionette, and it definitely wasn't myself. You did not. Fredo? Wait. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm either the starting Al Hadikia or the lunatic. I saw the Al Hadikia token. I got told. McKay was my marionette, and I was all excited because I was going to mess with McKay. I don't know now. Because um, I was snake charmed night one, and then since then, I picked Mark and Coulson. Okay. I was your starting slayer. I tried to shoot Coulson because he told me he was the recluse, and I was hoping that my slayer ping would kill him and confirm him. Um, I was then made Sarah mad as the goblin. Wow. Uh, Figured. Ooh. Richard? Wait, what? I wasn't even... I was shown the philosopher token, but I think I'm the drunk based on outsider count because I philoed into Snake Charmer day w- night one and uh, night two I picked Tiffy while she should have been the Al Hadikia and didn't ha- nothing happened, so I think I'm the drunk. So I was right to have you marked a snake charmer. Yeah, sorry, I lied to you, Ash. I definitely filoed in the snake charmer night one. <laughs> Mike? 
Uh, I'm the good apprentice. I had the snake charm ability. I picked Fredo night one and became the Alhadikia. Brian? We should probably not look into that too much. <laughs> what? I was the recluse, became snake charmer, and Colson picked me. And uh, Mike is clearly, I was Sarah Mad day one. Mike's clearly the apprentice, Sarah Novus. No, I said snake charmer. I told I you I you. picked. But you're not listening to me. That's the problem. Becca? Who are you again? Right now. We're not done with the round robin just because I started a weird place. So, Becca? Uh, I was the snake charmer. I picked McKay two days in a row, and then I picked Mark last night before I died. Mark? Uh, fortune teller, I gave my info. I'm curious, Becca and Colson, did you choose to die or live? I chose to die. I chose to die. Okay. Ash? Sad amnesiac. I learned a one night one asked if my ability had something to do with either snake charmers and or uh, demon changing and got a worm. And then I died. All right. And I chose to live. That'll conclude our round robin. We are in final three. So, Steve, if there's a snake charmer that jumped, that's before the Al Hadikia makes the picks, right? Correct. Correct. Also, if anyone is, I think, I, if anyone is claiming that they have a marionette, they are either the, I think maybe it's Mark, because I think maybe Fredo was the lunatic, and no, Tiffy someone took could have the a lunatic away from him. Um, yes. If, if Mike is indeed the Saranovis, we could have a marionette. Oh, I Nova. think McKay's a marionette. I no, I'm the snake charmer. I was Sarah Novus. If I had not McKay. been Sarah Novus, McKay, you were made you were made mad by the Sarah Novus before Mike died in the night. I just also want to say I never talked to Mike nor McKay. Um, I'm assuming that they were my evil team. Nope. No, Tiffy and I had a long chat not about I was uh, secretly buttholes. Uh, Second call. Tiffy and I chatted too. Second the call for nomination. You were the demon, and you were talking to me. <laughs> I was you... the damsel. Oh. Tiffy nominates. I thought you were the damsel on the script. Tiffy nominates Fredo. <laughs> tell us why. Uh, yeah, tell us why, Tiffy. It's just Fredo, guys. <laughs> it's just Fredo. Mm -hmm. um, Fredo. And before oh, we went to sleep, oh, hold on a second. Before we went to sleep yesterday, Fredo texted me, Tiffy, why you pick me? Fredo? Um, this is Tiffy um, playing a game with everybody, and now she has she picked me night one, and now she's framing me today. Tiffy, well played. Hate you. So what right. just happened there that I missed? Because something definitely happened before so, Tiffy made this nomination. <laughs> Tiffy picked me night one, Mamie Al Hadikia. Or made herself Al Hadikia and has been Al Hadikia, and now she's saying that I picked her last night. Okay. No, if I would have been Al Hadikia and putting myself last, that would have been a very ballsy move. Now, granted, I did, uh, like, uh, Colson was picked first um, as a recluse, but I, no. Very Who did you pick last move. night, Mark? All right. Did I what? So I, I picked Fredo and Tiffy last night and got a yes, so that doesn't answer okay. it. Okay. Okay. So that sounds like the actual team. With three alive, oh, it'll no. take two to put Fredo on the block. I don't know which one to pick. I, I don't know the answer here. Mark, I'm trying to figure out. Did you hearken you to me day one or day two? I, I'm not sure. Who, I'm trying to pick the two. Tiffy, no. Put your hand down. Tiffy, no. Two is enough. Fredo is on the block. I love that I even mean, if Mike is technically an evil traveler, he wouldn't necessarily um, know who's right. Name they're going to have enough to beat this. So, yeah, Fredo nominates Tiffy. Fredo nominates Tiffy. Tell us why. Um, because she did all of this. She has planned all of this from the night she even talked to me the next day, all happy and friendly. I can't believe you. I'm the damsel. I think Tiffy just risked this. They would the other two people would choose death, and that's what I'm thinking. But Tiffy, your sure. defense? Uh, not me again. I told you who I would have picked last night. It would have been a very good pick. Um, I didn't want this game to end. I wanted to possibly resurrect both Mike and Bryant. Why are you guys picking on me? It's My Bryant. 
two votes will tie three uh, needed to put Tiffy on the block. Because he's been killed first, like, a lot, um, and it would make him happy. I am nothing but a people pleaser. Are we really going to tie this? I am not um, If we okay. tie it, it's fine, oh. because we can go to sleep and the uh, Aladiki has to still get a kill. Four oh, is so enough. Tiffy is now without, on without the block. Without bringing anybody back to life. Mark, would you like to nominate yourself? No. Okay. Oh, great. There we go. Tiffy Good job, is executed and dies. End of the game is over one way or another. I voted on Tiffy. <laughs> I am so not sure if I'm the marionette. We go to a <laughs> grim yeah. reveal. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, Good job, Evil Mike. I? I couldn't tell. So let's start with Bryant, who was indeed your starting recluse. Ending life as a snake charmer when he was executed day one by town. He was swapped from Coulson, who gave Bryant his major wish last time we played the script, and it was, please snake charm me, and Coulson obliged. Um, Becca was also another snake charmer, but in this game, I believe, never successfully snake charmed anyone, if I recall. You were snake charmed the whole game, right, Becca? I was surprisingly McKay, McKay twice, and then Mark. who was? And then Mark. That's right. Going into this last night, yeah. Um, and that leaves um, that leaves um, Mike, your evil apprentice, <laughs> who did no. indeed have the Saranovis ability. That is correct. Oh, okay. um, Ash was your amnesiac and only lived in long enough to get a single number. Do you have a final guess at what your power might have been, Ash? I would have to think about it. So number of snake charmers employed. <laughs> my my many, guess would be many, uh, how many snake charmer jumps occurred in the night or something like that's that. That's what I think. Yeah, so your power was actually you learn how many um, unsuccessful snake charms go off at night. Oh. So <laughs> on the first yes. night, there was there was a uh, Colson charmed Bryant, so that didn't trigger yours. Uh, we mm. had Tiffy and Fredo, which did trigger yours, and then we had um, or sorry, did not trigger because that swap happened. Becca picking McKay was the only one that didn't yeah. trigger, and that of course leaves Richard, your poor drunk, who followed oh. into the snake charmer, but didn't actually do anything, but thought he was snake charming people the whole game. Mark, yeah. uh, that leaves Mark, who was indeed the fortune teller who got sober, healthy information the entire game, including pings, yes pings on Tiffy and Bryant and Tiffy and Fredo. Um, McKay was indeed your marionette who saw the Slayer token and Slayer shot Colson. That did not trigger because, sorry, McKay, you didn't actually have the power so that just comes down to this last 50 50 who was the demon and who was the snake charmer uh tiffy was indeed your ending snake charmer and fredo was indeed your ending oh, al hadikia who swapped back i gave him last swap he was the last snake charmer i visited on the last night and picked tiffy and yeah. got the demon hood back to be clear, if I were tracking my stats in this game, I would absolutely mark this as a lose for me. Because I did not, I did not know. I did not know. Unstoppable. What do you mean you didn't know? We what do you mean you didn't know? know? So hard, when my, when my Fredo, I never doubted back, you. Not for a second. Steve, I have a question. A GM sure, one question. second. Uh, Mario, I know Barney's going to bed. I want to thank Mario for storytelling with me tonight thank and, so catch, much, Mario. and uh, helping me run through this madness and, and keep everything straight. So, good night, Mario. Thanks for that. But, yes, McKay, you have a question? If I had been sober, sorry, would you have killed Coulson with my Slayer shot? Possibly. Okay. I would have if I was storyteller McKay. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Story, it, it goes off. Wait, off. wait, McKay. You still chose to live? I did choose to live, yeah. Did you already use your Slayer ability? Yeah. You killed me for no reason? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Ash, it is 2.15 in the morning. <laughs> McKay. McKay, McKay, you're like a kindred spirit because I would always choose to live as well. 
I basically God. always choose to win. Like so, I can I can accept clear. Mike doing it as an evil apprentice play. I you didn't know when you were evil and you had no reason to laugh. I didn't know if anyone else was evil or not either. I don't know what to tell you. Also, Real quick. Also good. I thought Mike would choose to die anyway. Especially if I was evil. It was sort of a test to see if I was evil or not. Real quick thoughts on Riot versus Al Hadikia in this script. I think Al Hadikia works better. A lot He's, better. So you actually, so that's interesting because when we started, we're like, Al Hadikia doesn't make sense. Why would we do that? No, but I now like you're thinking it works better? I if actually wanna, liked Al Had. I liked it yeah. better than Riot. If you want a fast game, Riot, but I liked Al Had yeah. better. Yeah, they both. I, I like so both. Okay, why don't you, you can like one more than the other, but overall, you think both are fun, right? Mm -hmm. I think yes both or no. Were fun. That's what I'm interested in hearing. Yes. Like, um, I liked both of them better than Leviathan. Yeah. Yep. Got it. I, Leviathan was kind of dull and long, so I would dump Leviathan. It's sad because I like, Leviathan up. was the core demon that I was like, oh, hot potato, five days. Who's the demon? But in practice, it seems to work the least fun. We haven't done Fangu. I feel like Fangu would be fairly vanilla, but just the ability to jump really throws another wrench into everything, right? It depends. Yeah, when you really jump to Fangu, does that reset the Fangu power or not? Because normally, no, I don't think it would. Jump. In theory, no, but if you really wanted to make it insane, you could add another <laughs> house rule. Infinite Fangu jumps? Yeah, I, I thought about spot. making a game like that. The problem is once evil starts growing, yeah. in number you have to add something power. similar like. If you jump again, the first person becomes good, which honestly yeah. would work in a game like this. Yeah, that's it could actually the, work. If the Fangu jumps, no, but then the Fangu would know who they jump to. So they, they know who they jump to, either. but there's no guarantee that they're both staying the Fangu. I do, I do think it's interesting that it's like the core concept feels so different with each demon that you play, but also yeah. everyone kind of figures out what demons to play by day one anyway. So yeah, it's it's different. It, it kind of works. It seems fun from my end. I had figured I was the drunk before Tiffy came out because I looked at Outsider Count and I was like, there's not enough Outsiders here. I'm probably the drunk. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's okay. I, I figured I probably wouldn't be considering Steve would not waste his time putting an amnesiac in if he was going to do something with the amnesiac. I bet you I just picked That's you because I was just trying to eliminate worlds. No, it's fine. Yeah. Like, it's a snake charmer game. You're going to do something. I, 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 I thought I followed in a snake charmer. I wasn't that opposed to dying. At, at, just... the, time, at, at the time <laughs> I, I nommed you, I knew Becca and Fredo were good at that time. I, I knew Coulson was yeah. claimed recluse. Tiffy, I thought was a demon, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I figured if we kill you, that helps narrow it. But it didn't help it narrow it enough. Yeah. <laughs> and I did have, I was correct to mark you a snake charmer, even though I literally had no memory of having a conversation <laughs> with you at you, all. You asked me if I was, if I was the Philo, if I Philoed in the snake charmer, and I lied and said no. <laughs> Why did I mark you as the snake charmer then? You knew. Yeah. You knew in no, your heart. No, I was still mar I must have mismarked you. I had snake charmer on the brand and marked oh you anyway. <laughs> so uh, we 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 had three fun games tonight. I'm gonna just wrap up the stream if you want to hang out, chat is fine. But like, thank you for playing tonight. We started with the uh, Mario for running the uh, Minotaur's Labyrinth game, and then two different like play tests of this one, two, three, not it. Uh, and I get to see, I got to see three out of the four demons in play and three vastly different experiences, all, you know, enjoyable in some way. So thank you for that. Uh, chat, good night, everyone. Uh, night. We didn't have a lot of chatters tonight, but, you know, that's cool. Everyone's playing tonight. That's why. <laughs> thanks, Mike. Yeah, thanks, Mike, for super chatting about Brian having a dumb shirt. I call for the exile, Mike. <laughs> what? I'm unkillable, unstoppable. Undefeated right. this evening. Good night, stream. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.